<laughs> you thought it was Saturday? You don't get the A song today. Yeah, right. This is the sub sound. Hey everybody, welcome to the Friday special event. It's RimWorld on a Friday. That's illegal. Shh, don't tell anyone and it'll be fine. They're going to take my stream down. They're trying to take me down. They don't want me to build the base. Randy's painting them on the side. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well, having a good one. This is the sub sound. It's Friday, uh, just after four, pretty much right on time with my expectations. And uh, a lot of people in America getting ready for a three day weekend, buckling down. Or a comfy, cozy three day relaxation. This is the sub sound. It's Memorial Day on Monday, I believe. I forgot about that. Well, if you, I hope you didn't forget about it if you have uh, work or school, because <laughs> it would be real awkward to show up if you weren't supposed to. Though I doubt most people to whom it applies uh, can forget about it because they've probably been looking forward to it for a while. A lot of people in school finishing up. End of May is the end of a lot of this is the sub -sound. testing and vinyls and stuff. 
Some unfortunate souls have to keep going to school through June, and I don't mean summer school, just regular timing, I guess. I wouldn't know anything about days off chat. Uh, we've probably streamed the most this month all 2021 so far, just because there's so much fun to be had. There's so many games that I want to play. And there's more to come. Uh, especially once we get into June. I think you probably noticed that this is the sub sound. They finally started cracking the egg on making game announcements, putting game trailers out. Things are finally catching back up to where they were. Uh, I didn't get to watch the Far Cry 6 thing, but they got a Far Cry 6 thingy today. They got a um, Horizon Zero Dawn thingy yesterday. They got a Dying Light 2 thingy. So the ball's starting to roll as far as like upcoming games and games that have been announced a while ago. Finally starting to... Um, to get ready to hatch, I guess. I don't know. Did Far Cry 6 get a release date? No. Still just... Uh, uh, Wikipedia says October 7th, but I don't know if that's true or not. Anyway. It's exciting. Because uh, new stuff is good. There hasn't been much new stuff, I guess, in the first part of this year. Which was kind of anticipated. Especially given last year's tumultuous series of events. I think everybody kind of knew there was going to be some dead space to fill out. RimWorld 2 win. Kenshi 2 win. Do you have any interest in the Warhammer 40k FPS that's coming out? There's so many Warhammer games, I don't even know which one you're talking about. Um, oh, the one that looks like Vermintide, yeah. That one looks cool. Though I don't know <laughs> uh, if I'll play it on launch or not. It's It seems like a four-player co-op game. And as you know, we don't do many four-player co-op streams on this channel. So, play it by ear. Yes, my, <laughs> Midas has found gainful employment in Far Cry 6, apparently. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> There's like a, a little black and tan dachshund in the game. Who rides around with like a, a wheelbarrow cart. <laughs> That actually could have been Midas, because he had two back surgeries that he was going to be uh, paralyzed if they went poorly. So that actually could have been him. But he was able to come out of both of the surgeries better than expected. So he's a lucky boy. This dog kind of looks like him, but not really. It looks like a different dog to me. It's It's got a lot of... It does have a lot of similarities. It's definitely closer to Midas and Otto. That's for sure. It actually kind of looks like... It, okay, this picture looks like both of them combined. But some of the other pictures don't. This one I can see a little bit of both. But in this one... And this one, it's definitely Midas. That's definitely, that's a little too serious for Midas, but that's, that's a lot closer. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> no, not a new cartoon from DreamWorks. <laughs> no room in Megabase for me. No, there's no more room in the Megabase. We're closing down applications to the Megabase, uh, which will become very apparent why here shortly. We got everybody here that we want to be here, okay? You can watch from the windows outside. You can, like, peek in and see how much fun all the the colonists are having, but... LET ME IN! <laughs> that's why that's why the stream title is called Kill Him With Kindness, because Randy is doing that thing where if you just keep getting, like, extremely nice and seemingly beneficial opportunities for quick and rapid growth, um, you end up in a position like we're kind of in, where we're basically overextended. And we have bitten off more than we could chew. There's simply not enough room for all of the people, but since we had such a, a dearth of opportunities for new colonists, like, as soon as I started getting them, as soon as it's like, whoa, hang on. Those dudes who were just visiting are both joining us? That's awesome. Uh, okay, we got transport pod. We got uh, some captives from the last raid. Yeah, take them all. I got really greedy, just assuming that more people were going to die and then these guys were going to take in their spot. And then we only had, like, maybe one death. Did we even have any deaths on the last stream? I don't remember. Thanks for beginning a stream subs, by the way. Kyrotopi says 276 days until I am free of the some of that gift sub curse for 35 months <laughs> the countdown <laughs> the burden will be lifted in less than a year we are warriors as rimworld yeah buddy for 13 months which is as good a sub message as any i suppose uh dr zweihander thanks for the five months of sub much appreciated welcome to the stream Swedish Fish is back. Good to see you again, Swedish Fish. For half a year. And Bruce Utazu celebrating 39 months. Pogging out in chat. It says, hello chat. This is the sub sound. <laughs> he said the catchphrase. Got some coffee. Got some caffeine. And uh, we got some video games. There he is, the Emperor, taking a taking a little sip. But hi everybody that's just jumping in for some Friday Rimworld. Maybe some Saturday Rimworld too. Do back to back. We'll see. What's up, Zap Guy? Frenzy right on time. Indeed is right on time. Just finished day two of Battle Brothers VODs. Borg is life. <laughs> yeah, Battle Brothers actually was going well too. We'll play some more of that again next week. I don't remember when uh, Big Mac died, Arvorex. I don't know if it was... They're, they're starting to run together a little bit. What's up, Arvorex? Snide, Dandy, KBS, Snowman's here. Feels mega base in here. Chat is kind of like a mega base in and of itself. Always inviting new people to join. Giant Pink Lizard, Kiera, Slight Convenience, Ferity. Hey, guys. Ombra Moon, Single Nader, Bow Tap. Hey. What's up, Alpaca, KJ, Praxis, and Mary Skipper Mod Squad, too. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Peepo Comfy. Hello, She's the Worst. Adarain, Jason, Ionic, Nico. What's up, Secret Warrior and Xanishar? Darren J's back. Hello, Evanito, Roof, Australian Dan. Hey, guys. I was thinking about talks, then bam, a new stream. It's almost like there's been one basically every day, Gold Ruby. Like uh, clockwork. Oh, K Nord, Pluto, Brule Lord, two lords. Better than one. And everybody else in between. Let's jump in. See where we're at. A mega-based streamer bases his mega stream on mega base build. I enjoyed reading that. <laughs> mega based. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. There is a lot going on here. <laughs> there is a significant amount of things happening on this map, including this. Whew! It's a lot of people. I think that's four, eight, twelve. That's sixteen uh, lads and lasses up there, just staring down on the colony from above. Uh, lots of bad moods. I remember, I remember last time basically saying that's future me's problem because there wasn't really anything I could do about it. This is why I say the colony itself is pretty much full. Like we have more people than we have room. And that is basically what we're going to be working on for the foreseeable future, is just trying to get them all here. We had accounted for, um, apparently only 16 spots here. So there, if we build this out, we have exactly as, as many rooms as we anticipated. Wait, no, no, no. It's actually uh, 18, 18, because the one in the middle. So, okay, if we build out this entire section, we'll actually have two spare beds. Another important thing is we're, we're working on a hospital, which is coming along quite nicely, actually. Uh, it's been it's been walled in, it's been roofed, it's just not heated, so it's negative fifteen in there right now. And um, hospital hospital's taking some great shape. I was planning on using this as like a just a fun waiting room area with like a TV and some chairs. That's what I was thinking about doing. Gonna build some pillars in here to keep the roof up. Uh, we got some future generator spots, wind turbines. <clears throat> We're working on a wall that goes down here. Oh, I remember this. Every time, every time we reset, I have to re-forbid all this because uh, the quality. Quality Builder basically frees it up and allows it to be made. Oh, yeah, same thing here. Same thing here. Okay, so we need to forbid all the armchairs, all the plant pots, all the doggo beds, and only allow the lights, the beds, and the dressers, and the end tables, I guess. Okay. So... Did anything, did, did, did past me leave anything else for us? Let's, let's open up the resources and find out before we get started. Well, it seems like we got plenty of food for now. Whole harvest of potatoes here, eight hundo potatoes. Apparently just came out. We got another corn harvest coming in. We started growing heel roots, so we're low on meds. That's what we need to keep in mind. Low on the medicine. We still have some planning that needs to be done. We had a bunch more rooms that we need to be that need to be made, including up like production areas because this is not going to cut it. Alex, my girlfriend got me Rimworld this past week because you got me into it. Any advice for a newbie? Uh, my advice is probably just. Depends on how little you do or don't, how much you do or don't know. Because I would say don't be afraid to play on, um... Don't feel like you're gonna play on Randy Random with, like, hard difficulty just because that's what you see on stream. Starting over is fun. So, just play... I would play, like, Phoebe to get a vibe for just setting up the colonies and stuff. Play a little bit into Phoebe, and if you're having fun keep playing and if you want to start over you'll have plenty of reason to and change difficulties and stuff so that's what I would say whoa look at this base I thought this was a loser stream how dare you how dare you okay this is third try third time's a charm that's how it goes battle brothers rim world you need two warm up swings three strikes you're out we're not out yet We're still very much in this. By a lot. By a lot! Okay. I'm winning, chat. By a lot. We got recon armor. 
We got, um, more guns than we know what to do with. We got so many guns, we're giving the prisoners a free gun just for being here. We got three geothermal generators. Uh, we need to floor this one, but at least this one's safe. Yeah, how's power doing? Power's doing good, but we need to close off uh, one of these batteries. And we need to start maybe working on one of these battery rooms back here. Okay, let's uh, let's just take a look around. Golden Fishy is in a psychotic wander. Toxmo is also in a psychotic wander. Was imprisoned. The colony had me in jail for a while. Wasn't that because Toxmo had an infection? And if we didn't imprison them, they were going to die of the infection? I feel like that's what happened. Uh, Int Table is in a poor mood due to the pain from being bitten multiple times. Whoop, likewise, has been bruised via fist fights. Oh, yeah! We got Sensory Mechanites! True. Semi-coherent Mechanites residing in the nervous system. They enhance the victim's senses, but also cause intense pain. These are probably a mutated strain of sense-enhancing Mechanites. Yes, indeed. We have double mechanites still, I think, in the colony, or at least one or two of the colonists do. Let's go, like, there, I think is good. Who's got double mechanites? Let's see. We got gut worms as well with Craspu, sensory mechanites in Serbu, fibrous and sensory in Burgled, fibrous and sensory in Nom Nom. Wow, that's extremely unfortunate for both of them. Uh, Golden Fishy is currently starving due to the Psychotic Wander. Ms. lizardy has got sensory mechanites. Owen's got fibrous mechanites. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of mechanites. Big pain. The worst part is, because of that, we have to basically stop them from getting medicine because we only have 15 herbals, so they're not getting good treatment. So it's just compounding uh, their anger. They're getting more and more frustrated. But sensory mechanites help you see exceedingly well. And fibrous make you faster, if I'm not mistaken. Let me, let me look at that. Sensory mechanites increase your pain, but increase your sight by 50%, your hearing by 50%, and your ability to talk and manipulate. Whereas Fibrous increase um, your manipulation, your moving, your blood pumping, your rest fall rate. So you get tired more quickly, I think. And he's tending every few days. Okay, a group of cats are passing through the area. Are we hungry? How hungry are we? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, this is this is the right way to start off the stream. Ms. Lissaday has broken inside and become obsessed with corpses. Okay, this is going great so far. Siri, this is why we kept it paused for a few minutes. Uh, let's see who Ms. Lissaday goes for. Awful bedroom. Ratty apparel. You need some new pants? We'll make some new pants. Let's make three new pants. It seems to be a constant issue. Who we got this time? Uh, Lil Mandingo. Did you have Lil Mandingo on the bingo card? What is the blood pumping stat effect? Uh, I believe blood pumping should have to do with your circulatory system. And... Because separate from blood filtration, it's not the same as blood pumping. So I'm actually not sure what, what blood pumping does. I know what blood filtration does. I guess you bleed faster? Does it, um, lower the effects of drugs? Because it pumps through the veins faster? I'm just gonna look it up. Don't, don't rely on chat. Blood pumping. Rimworld. It's a good question. There's actually a full wiki page about it. Uh, it says... How well a creature can move blood around its body affects consciousness and moving. Blood pumping, also called power generation on mechanoids, is the capacity that controls how well a pond pumps blood. 
It is lethal for humans, animals, and mechanoids for blood pumping to be reduced to zero. So higher number is better than zero. Um, a pawn loses consciousness when this when consciousness falls below 30%. They die when it reaches 0%. I knew that already. Well, I didn't know the exact stat for consciousness, but... So, it's got... Um, A few effects on that. Its weight on consciousness is 1. Its weight on moving is 0.2. And its weight on rest rate multiplier is 0.3. So apparently it affects all three of those. <laughs> if I have more blood pumping, I'll be more conscious. <laughs> yes. So it doesn't affect immunity. Its blood filtration is immunity. So it's mostly consciousness. But also just apparently moving and rest rate. Okay. Anyways. Crass boost picking out on food. How much? We don't have any meals. That is a good point. Golden Fishy is still not really going to work with us. Sir Booberry is injured and in bed. Burgled is also injured. We need to turn up, I think, Owen's cooking. Just for a bit. Because... Really, Randy? Is this how you want to greet me? Did I leave you alone too long? Did you start to get lonely? Plotting about what you were going to do uh, upon my return? The corn plants have been blighted. Immediately. Which is pretty bad timing, because they were about 50% grown. And we kind of need them. We got a bunch of people on plant cutting, so they should just come in here and, and handle it. I'm going to probably change this from corn to, like, one quick rice harvest just to make sure that the food issue is resolved. We still got a thousand veggies and 600 insect meat and a bunch of potatoes that aren't accounted for, but still. We should also go look for some elk, add some actual edible meats. Also, there's just an elk dead because I don't know. A gunshot wound killed this elk, but nobody's hauled him in yet. He's just here. Fair enough. Predators on the map. 16 cats. <laughs> Beware. Five tattered apparel. We need a meditation spot for Ushikun. Colonist is unburied. True, they did literally just do that. Lil Mandingo, please be buried. <laughs> uh, Craspu needs treatment. Nom Nom lacks a ranged weapon. Okay, so let's have you go pick up, I believe, Donkey currently armed with a heavy SMG. I think that was your heavy SMG. So I'm gonna do like a shift command to equip that. <laughs> uh, low medicine, uh-huh, and two extreme break risks. Craspoo, please stop eating the raw corn. We got some problems here in the colony. There's just a lot to keep up with at this point. 16 colonists, uh, the mega base is growing. Everybody's got this like extremely convoluted work schedule that I think is going okay. Uh oh, they're building all the beds because I forgot to re-forbid these. Okay, I'm going to allow these to be like six i really need to get some heat oh that's why i built the heater right in the middle of the floor just so i would remember to heat this room okay so let's do a heater in that corner and there's like a light here we could do heaters anywhere along this side i feel like heater in this corner is is good two two heaters just to get us started it's a big room though 
It's a large room. How are we doing in here? I'll, okay, so Kiva Wallow, when we don't have anything to mine really cued, like I, I cut these off so they'd stop mining, uh, all the people who are good at mining also tend to be our crafters. So while Kiva Wallow is not uh, building up their double fireball passion for mining, we got you on marble chunk duty just on site to help us build in here. Machine pistol poor has deteriorated in... Why is this deteriorating? Oh no. We unroofed it because we were going to deconstruct it. <laughs> How long ago was that? Uh, past me is already already coming back to bite me in the ass. It, I've got a build roof area here, don't I? No. Nope, it was a remove roof area. Oopsie whoopsie. Okay, so that has affected quite a few things, actually, in terms of health. Grenades... The food is in there, just deteriorating away. This chain shotgun, you know, we got we got some good stuff in here, but it's not something that's going to ruin the game for us. Well, at least it was only a small revolver that deteriorated first. So that's good. Guys, you really shouldn't be using this as the hospital yet. It's too cold. It's negative three in here, guys. No, not that one either. Just go to your regular bed and the doctor will be with you. I think it's hunting time. Burgled is fully healed of... I don't know. They still got fibrous mechanites, so you're not <laughs> fully healed by my standards. Uh, Kiva Wallow's picking out on food due to the unsightly environment. Again, we just gonna, chat, we're just gonna have to take a lot of these on the chin right now. Fibrous mechanites, sensory mechanites, we've got gut worms in the colony. People, there have been two or three social fights just before this stream uh, in the timeline, so we got a little recovery session before things are gonna get back on track today, I think. Also, I gotta blow my nose. Kaibo's helping out with Ushikun's bedroom, making a plant pot, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh no. Why why are you this close, Nom Nom? Why are you one step away? I don't want okay, so fun fact. Sometimes it's actually okay to let them run away on their own. Because if I recruit, there is a stutter step where they stop and give the person pursuing them time to catch up. So the only time that's good to take a, take uh, control is when they're going to naturally stop on their own, like this. And then with our powers combined, we will take that elk down. No accessible spot. Okay, freezer's too tiny. Weren't we gonna... Oh, let's move. We were gonna move the insect meat. But where? I, I thought I configured a spot for it, didn't I? Or did I not? Oh, it's... it's they're already hitting us with the funky... How about... Sorry, I'm having, I'm having some difficulties finding what I'm looking for. No. Yes. Okay. So I guess the only problem here is that we have to turn it off at everyone. So our three main storage spots, like only this one, because this one is in the cold. So it's not going to spoil in there. So I'm going to have Owen 
prioritize hauling the insect meats so that these two can haul the bodies. No, not consume. <laughs> not consume. Hey. There you go. Haul it in. <laughs> Don't let them just eat the entire elk. That would be bad. Horsies. Actually, don't think I've seen horses in RimWorld. Because they were added in like a vanilla animal patch. And I don't think I've played with them in my game. A large hoofed mammal with a short coat, a long mane, and a long tail. Horses have been domesticated since ancient times. They are pack animal. Helping you to caravan over long distance with a brisk movement speed, I would assume. Uh, 5.8 is probably good. Hunger rate, very high. Minimum... Oh, chat, coffee net's back. I thought I thought I had... A bit, it's been four days, coffee net. It's been four days. <laughs> that was a desperate attack. I... Not, that, there was no way that was ever going to win. I don't, okay, listen. Good news, though. I got mail. And in my mail is the concoction, which will finally disperse them. Rather than just go to the grocery store, I just ordered the basic ingredients online. I, I forgot what they were. It's like vinegar and uh, something else. Anyways... <laughs> Disperse them or breed even stronger gnats. They will adapt. Okay, anyways, I was looking for trainability. Sorry, advanced. So they can haul? Horses can haul. Ooh. But we already have so many animals. And there's no way we can tame them before... They leave the map, right? There's, like, no way. Where is Carathius? Carathius is gonna go make an attempt. If possible. There's a warg over there, too. All right, what are you doing? Hauling milk? Already cooking at the stove. He did not like that milk. Resting. No. I don't see any meals, buddy. That's why you're on the cooking duty. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this isn't gonna work, is it? Wait, I do have kibble. I do have food. Look, I've gotten more food. 34% chance we succeeded. Got one on the run. Stallion one. I wish we could get stallion two. But there's no way. Maybe if I got two people to come out there instead. I need more. This horse is 22 years old? How old is the horse that I picked? I didn't even look at the age. Nine. Okay. At least they're not going to die anytime soon. Uh, on their own. Goodbye, horsies. See you. Uh, what happened to these elk? <laughs> oh no, they're bleeding out. Oh, Craspu is no longer pigging out on food. Okay, good. Owen is about to lose it. Owen, you. Uh oh, Owen's about to pass out. No, get in bed, Owen, quick. 
Neum. Okay, and Golden Fishy is no longer in a psychotic state. Maybe we'll find another horsey someday. There's plenty of time. We did put a heater in this room, so it's not as important that we keep the door closed. So we'll just leave that one open for now. It's... what temperature is it in here? It is fall, chat. It's the 11th of April, May. I'm a little concerned because of uh, how cold it's gonna get. So we definitely need to build, make sure we're building heaters in the new rooms as we get them going. I'm sensing a lot of mental breaks happening today. <laughs> many, many mental breaks coming. This is the worst moods have ever been. Potentially in the entire colony's history. Time to get Peepo comfy. Because yeah, it's about to start. Uh, we, all we have to hope, psychotic state? That's fine. I can handle a psychotic break. I can't handle a berserk, murder, animal killing, None of those breaks, okay? If you just want to wander around innocently, that's fine. You've all got decent clothes, despite the tattered apparel. Uh, it's pants, parka, shirt, parka, pants, pants. I think there may be two pants. Either way, someone needs to fix this electric tailor bench. We got pants, parka, shirt, uh, queued up. The tailor is Owen. Owen no longer needs to cook first. So Owen can go focus on making pants. I'm actually gonna have you repair the tailoring bench first. All I'm saying is suddenly Owen gets dentures to replace his missing jaw and now Miss Lissade is interested in him again. Wow. Are you suggesting that Miss Lissade, when they got married, did not really mean it when she said, uh, all those promises and all those fancy words about richer or poorer in the good and bad health? All right, Golden Fishy is back in the kitchen cooking, which is why we had to cover with Owen the first go round. There's still blight. There's there is still blight. We almost got it all. There is still blight. And now there is none. Okay, well, look at all this plain leather. Um, plain leather pants are really not good enough. Like, plain leather in and of itself really isn't good enough for us anymore. It's just not insulating enough for the cold of winter. So we need to probably just toggle off light leather, plain leather, and just try and sell it to a bulk goods trader when they come through. in my professional opinion. Blue fur and uh, that ilk is far superior. Okay, pants, Bill, but some good pants are better than no good pants. Who did that? <laughs> oh, it's burgled with an LMG. <laughs> LMG hunting. Uh, all right. So, Stallion 1 certainly should be hall trained. Ooh, we're building the security wall. Because, uh, basically, they blew up my solar and wind turbines for the last time. If the bugs want to spawn in here, then they're not going to just get to destroy these for free. <laughs> and waste all of our components. 
Oh boy, here we go. Isn't this like the third time this has happened? Nom Nom Maki has decided to give up on the colony and leave. Things have simply gotten too tough. <sighs> Nom Nom's been threatening leaving for a while, but what Nom Nom doesn't know is this is for the best. Nom Nom, if they leave, will surely die. All alone out there. Wait. Oh no, Nom Nom's at the edge of the map, chat. This might not be possible. Uh... Yikes. If they decide to exit from the south, there's nothing we can do about it. Let's see where they end up going. Maybe they don't go south? Oh, and the wizard is throwing a tantrum and will smash up furniture and random structures in the poor mood. Mesilsidae, Toxmo, and Carathius are on the way. I don't think we're going to make it unless she decides to go left for some reason. Oh, and will you please? Not now, okay? We're, we're handling this very terrifying situation. Okay, if she's coming this way, we got really lucky. I'm gonna take the guaranteed chance to arrest. With Miss Lissaday. Craspu has broken down and is wandering around confused. This happened because of dementia. All that knowledge in your head and you can't apply yourself. How old is Craspu? 80. For your 80th birthday, you got dementia. Uh, Miss Lissaday, are you gonna be able to catch Nom Nom? Also, we turned the music up for the last song, but let's <laughs> ease up on that. Ooh, okay. Crisis averted. Early crisis. I think we got lucky that they decided to exit from, like, the north or the west instead of the the east or the south. Could have been bad. So if you try to arrest them, can I drop her now? Or is she still leaving the colony? Let's see. Okay, she's still leaving the colony. So we have to arrest. Why did she instantly uh, leave? <laughs> Hang on, I don't think I clicked release. She, she just got instantly released. That was odd. Okay. So does she still have the debuff? Yep, was imprisoned to minus 10. The colony had me in jail like a caged animal. You're being dramatic. You were taking at best a tour of the prison quarters. Hey, what's up, Simcopter? How's it going, dude? Good evening. Or good afternoon. Okay, chat, is 5 o'clock p.m. afternoon or evening? Or, or rather, let me put it more specifically. Is 4.53 p.m. afternoon or evening? <laughs> I'm tired, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I am also tired. But also, I, I have a mixture of being tired and having a lot of energy at the same time. Tired restlessness? It's not quite manifesting as stir craziness. Like, I don't feel like I, I need to... I need to get out! Like, I don't feel like that, but also I feel like... Um, like, I, I'm caught between the endless cycle of wanting to do a whole bunch of stuff. And also knowing that I should not do all of it. At, the ex at that exact moment. But anyways. Nothing like two or three cups of coffee won't fix, I guess. <laughs> we raided Sim uh, the other day, actually. Sim, hope you had a good stream. 
Playing some Fall Guys. Ooh, that's that's a good idea. I was talking about playing some Fall Guys uh, before because they have the new like private lobbies, right? Are those publicly available? This is the sub sound. I'm curious if you were able to uh, to test any of those kind of party features out. Because I was contemplating doing that at some point. Kaibo has broken down and is wandering around in sadness. The final straw was, I don't have enough drugs. Kaibo's always breaking down due to not having enough drugs. Fall Guys is in a good place at the moment. Yeah, they've been adding a bunch of new maps, right? A lot of new, um... They got like four seasons out now. They've been adding uh, new courses to run, maybe new game modes, of course, new cosmetics. Always hilarious, but I'm glad you've been having fun with it. Because I remember that was one of the big complaints at the beginning at launch was like, oh, you kind of just do the maps and then, and then you're done. So if they've had like four seasons to add at least like a few maps each time, that's gonna add a lot more replayability. Give Kaibo Flake. <laughs> no. <laughs> I refuse. Uh, let me let me check on my people who are going crazy and make sure they're not doing anything bad. For those of you who just joined, we are trying to rapidly expand um, into the mountain here, even at our, our cost, the cost of bugs spawning beneath our feet. We've already had to deal with infestations twice. I expect there will be many more to come. They'll probably just grow larger, because our wealth is continuing to blossom. Uh, we got a med bay in progress here. This is going to be our main housing quarters with some uh, battery cells for storage. And we got a lot more planned. Including eventually another living quarters down here. We have room for 18 up here, permanent residents, not including uh, people who share the same bed. And we're nearly done with this security wall. Looks like we need either a door or a piece of wall here. I don't know if I want a door yet, so let's just wall it in. Have they done anything with bots? Uh, I actually never ran into any cheaters in Fall Guys, but I played, like, right around launch. Right at the beginning. I never even saw a hacker. But I'm sure they're there. They do, uh, gravitate towards pretty much any multiplayer game. To try to ruin other people's fun. But I don't know. If people arrive with a belly full of funnel cake, welcome back, Crank That Jay Phil. Good to see you again, dude. Hello, Quantum. Dark Phantom. Hey, guys. So, we've got plenty of meat in the freezer. We've got cooks who are currently turning it into fine meals, I think, now that we have a combo. we got kibble for the animals. We just tamed a stallion. Still got potatoes just sitting here. Uh, they're not refrigerated, so we got 27 days to store them. That's like two full seasons in the game. Moods are starting to improve, but only because of catharsis. <laughs> I'm really just counting on this heel roots uh, to grow in. We need more medicine, so I might actually grow a full thing of heel root in here next time. Possibly. Dude, my pizza! Pizza sounds pretty good. Yes, go a golden fishy. We have a lot of people. This is the sub sound. Too many people. We were kind of talking about that at the beginning of the stream. Uh, Randy just kept giving me opportunities to recruit people, and we just kept saying yes. Yes. And most of them sleep in here. This original barracks was only intended for like six, maybe five people tops. And we just had to keep adding people 
We tried adding some bedrooms. These were intended to be jail cells. Uh, that ended up not happening. Now, this was intended to be an emergency medical system for our frontline defenders. That got turned into the impromptu jail. Um, we just kind of kept building and building organically here, and we just kept outpacing ourselves. Kivo does not need to be sleeping in here. Uh, we need to get you a spot. So now we're now we're trying to build the actual thing. All right, Nom Nom, someone will be along to help you shortly. You just have <laughs> just Peachy wondering why that chair was extra cushy. I suppose. Um, how about rescue Nom Nom? Remove her from the scene. All right, we have s Nom Nom is currently starving, so we'll have somebody come feed you short. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Owen, do me a favor. Can you work on this heater for us? How much steals a heater? 50, and he's bringing 45. Because I want to get this hospital livable. Okay, what are we researching right now? Go juice? I think we're just researching anything until we have a, uh, like, high-tech research bench. Once we get a high-tech research bench is when everything's gonna really open up. Okay, Booberry's no longer in a psychotic state. Kaibo is taking a nap. Why are you so tired in the middle of the day? Did you not sleep last night at all? Okay. So, once we get everybody into their own bedroom, and we get the bedrooms paved, and we get some nice furniture, then we're gonna have such a good time. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, I actually... hang on. We probably will need three heaters in here, let's be honest. We probably will. So I'm gonna allow all three of these to be built. Okay. So there's two for this giant jumbo-sized room, which hopefully will bring us over the freezing temps at the very least. We'll see how that goes. Burgled and Toxmo are idle. Let's see what you guys do. Toxmo pretty much just researches. So who's researching? Nobody. Burgold does what? Also researches, also mines. Doesn't really craft. Handles, cooks, you got a good passion for cooking. It's okay to have one or two idle, I guess, when you have 16 colonists. Anyways, thanks for the subs, uh, Sir Giant. I think I got Sir Giant Pink Lizard at the beginning of stream, but welcome back, Pink Lizard. Thor LP says, I like your Christmas tree farm. One day, maybe these pine trees will actually be harvestable. <laughs> I don't know if we'll build over them first. Time will tell. It looks like we're building over them, but they might they might still grow. It's gonna take like three more summer seasons for half of these. It's it's super inconvenient. I don't really know a better way to get wood. They don't grow during cold temperatures. So I'm genuinely not sure. Okay, we've moved most of the insect meat out. Primarily just used for the kibble anyways. Now we got room for food that we actually use. We're going to work on the mega freezer at some point. Uh, which I don't know if that'll be today, but this area right here is going to be the freezer. It's gonna take a, it's gonna take a little while to set up. Not as long as you think, because we don't really have to mine anything else. It's really just gonna come down to paving it. I'm recreation deprived, so I'm gonna go hide in my room. 
My room that I share with everyone else in the entire colony. Ratty apparel. Well, why don't you... Okay, these are all dead guy clothes. Uh-oh. Pyromaniac. I don't even think you were in a bad mood. <laughs> I ate without a table, and that's reason enough to burn this place to the ground. I'm just gonna have someone follow you around. Don't put the horseshoe pin on fire. <laughs> How annoying would this be as a pyromaniac though? To have someone just watching over your shoulder putting the fires out like immediately. This is the sub sound. I mean, it's just easier this way. I can't allow the whole farm to burn down. He's going for the crops. All right, you're good. You're good. Yakman123, back for 10 months. Thanks for the prime sub. Howdy. Welcome to the stream. Niz Diz is also back for 16 months. Thanks to both of you. And thanks again, Thor, for the 32. Appreciate all your subs. Thanks for the stream support. Howdy. Feels good, man. I am in a feels good, man kind of mood today, too. I've been looking forward to getting back uh, into RimWorld this week. Hopefully, we can make some good things happen. It's really coming down to, like... It seems like they prioritize this wall, which I respect. So this is not safe, but it is a lot safer than it was uh, by far. We actually have a perimeter wall around our power sources. It's just a nice thing to have. Now it looks like they're getting started working on our future eating room, which I'm just going to allow them to build this. This is going to be one of the two feast halls, I think. It's going to end up killing all of these trees. We don't have to roof it immediately if we don't want to. I don't know if I want to, like, actually eat in there until we get the kitchen done, so I might just designate a no-roof area. Chai, when do you use an ignore-roof area instead of a remove-roof area? Never. <laughs> Ignore roof is just to get rid of your past designations. Ah, okay, that actually makes sense. So it's just to clear the map of the things that you have drawn on it. That actually makes, that does make sense. That way there's not always, like, yellow and orange squiggly drawings everywhere. I love seeing moods improving because everyone's got some catharsis. There was just a mass mental break. Only one person tried to abandon the colony, so that's nice. We get a nice hopeful song in the background. Uh, we can produce Goju, so synthetic combat performance enhancing drug which improves shooting, melee, and movement while dulling pain. Let's take a look at what everybody's up to. Owen is trying to build some heaters by hauling components. Kaibo is working on our future feast hall. Missless today is making marble blocks for the continued building of the colony. We're pretty much, we were going to make all the walls out of limestone because it's slightly stronger, but we ended up going with marble instead because it was just more plentiful because when we were digging into this mountain, the section we were digging in was marble. If we dug over here, it'd be limestone. So because we just had so many marble blocks and chunks just lying around, that's what we ended up using. I think it's only a five hit point difference. 465, Never mind. It's like significantly weaker. It's like a hundred, 
and five hit points difference, but I don't know. What we can do is, once we have a nice living area, right, once we were all settled in here, we can make the exterior all limestone. You know what I mean? So, like, the only thing that the limestone versus marble will affect will be the bugs breaking down the walls, I guess, which only buys a little bit more time anyways, because bugs are basically like, um, sappers. They just go through anything. Doesn't really matter. Paying our respects, viewing some art, looking over the body of Ling, thinking about the past. Oh, and the wizard and Kaibo chatted about hostile hypnotists. You have to be careful of them. <laughs> be wary of the hypnotists who wish to weaponize. They want to take everyone up on stage and create super soldiers who can be mind controlled. funny looking over at chat and just seeing all the like people arrive why I look over and just see watch what happened to Nam Nam why does base look like Mickey Mouse did you do anything about infestations Has he beaten the game before? I actually have beaten the game before. Drifter Jam. I have beaten the game a couple times. Never on this difficulty level though. We're playing on losing is fun. Randy Random, losing is fun. Old school, merciless. I, I never played on this difficulty. How do you beat the game? You research all the way down the research tree, learn how to build a spaceship, and blast off with one or more colonists, or I guess a few colonists. You can also take quests. Uh, there's ship to the stars if you can get to this artificial intelligence. This is the subset. He'll give you passage off worlds. Incredibly difficult to do. And there might even be another victory condition, but those are the those are the, the main one is rocket ship blast off. We've got an unowned bed. Ah, nom nom. That means I'm gonna move you over here, okay? Because you've been having some big problems. You have been always trying to leave the colony, always uncomfortable. So let's put you up in your own bedroom and try and make things better. Okay, we didn't look at see what see what everybody was doing. Golden Fishy's making four fine meals at a time. Ushikun is gonna have a table to eat on over here eventually. Burgled is currently just wandering idle, but is in a bad mood anyways. Uh, Flaming Camel is rescuing Nom Nom, who couldn't move, because they are catatonic right now. And we'll put them in their new bedroom. We need to shut that door. And the builders are hard at work on uh, some new bedrooms over here, which need a little extra help because we've got uh, some things in the way from the ancient evil that was here before. They're trying to straighten this place out, though. That's why this big <laughs> cavernous mega room is in here. Uh, speaking of ancient evils... There's another one. We're gonna have to crack that open today because it leads to where the future throne room is gonna be. Howdy, Drifter Jam. Thanks for the fresh prime sub. Glad to have you. Thanks for sharing. Let's 
fix this room up. I think bust, slightly busted rooms add an ugliness factor. Ooh, you leveled up to construction eight. Good job. I mean, if we can fix this stuff, that means less, fewer things to break <laughs> when the base is inevitably uh, drop pod rated again. <laughs> Where's Nom Nom? Oh, she's resting in the hospital. I guess. What's the temperature like in here? Dude, it's 70! Alright, these are the medical beds now. <laughs> Crass was probably not the first choice. Sorry. Uh, we'll get Whoop to do it. Sorry, Nom Nom. Graspoo's a little on the slow side. I watched that Zombies Las Vegas movie that someone in here said wasn't good. It wasn't horrible, but it was a turn-your-brain-off kind of movie. I'm still probably gonna watch it. I finished Invincible yesterday. And I enjoyed that. I had some- I have some minor complaints, but overall didn't affect my enjoyment of the show. I thought overall very good and would recommend. Now I now know the memes. I understand the context of the memes. Luckily, I did not watch the context videos on the memes because pretty big spoilers for the show. Uh, but now, now I know. And, uh, it was good. This is the gift sub sound. Trial. I want to talk about it, but I'm not- I don't want to say anything because I don't want to ruin it for other people. I'm just anxious. I want to see season two. But it's gonna be a while. Oh, and the wizard! Uh-oh! Flirted with Flaming Camel by joking about lunchtime. Flaming Camel responded well and is now Owen the Wizard's lover. Owen the Wizard and Flaming Camel now want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. Owen the Wizard, married to Ms. Lissaday, has begun an affair with Flaming Camel. <laughs> what goes around comes around, I guess. <laughs> Uno, Uno reverse card. Uh, Miss Lissaday, how do you feel about your lover, Larry Ushikun Zoka? Wow, they had a falling out, chat. Owen and Miss Lissaday had a falling out. Miss Lissaday does not love Owen the way she did last time we checked in on her. So we're just going to put both sets of lovers with their lovers, I suppose. Um, Miss Lissaday, it looks like Owen isn't sleeping in here anyways. Maybe that's part of the problem. Uh, so I'm gonna let Miss Lissaday and Ushikun share a room. And I'm gonna let o Owen and Flaming Camel have already taken it upon themselves to claim a double bed, apparently. So we're just going to leave that as it is, and they'll just share neighboring rooms, I guess. I didn't put him there. He did. <sighs> the drama is thick. Lots of drama here. Alright, Woop hauling some marble chunks. Not a glamorous job, but a super useful one. End table as well. Just Peachy bringing some blocks to make a double bed. We need more beds. Smelting metal from slag. I like it. We have a lot of slag on the map right now. And this is just free 15 uh, steel and 15 steel and 15 steel. It's fantastic, Carathius. Crassboo is going to try to build the marble wall if Crassboo can find her way to the marble wall without getting lost. Kiva Wallow making blocks for us. Toxmo researching things we're not going to use for like four streams. It, and that's hopeful. Sir Booberry bringing some heaters in on, uh, heater components in. Flaming Camel is tending to Miss Lissaday, who uh, has an issue with Mechanites. And by the way, do we ever harvest? No, not yet. We have 82% heal root. 
Kaibo has created a marble masterwork dresser. Let me see where that is. I'll read it on the thingy itself. This furniture bears a representation of Carathius finally giving up under stress as a last step. His hair is totally messed up. The style is glitch art with simple elements. As an interesting contrast, nine scythers appear in the upper part of the image. This illustration refers to Carathius giving up in despair on the 10th of December, 5504. <laughs> Kaibo, let's try and put some context to why you would make that. How do you feel about Carathius? Uh, we're negative 25, your rivals. Oh, I see. So, you're basically used your masterwork 19 construction planet leading master skills to memorialize and commemorate the time that your rival basically gave up on the colony. Kaibo hates everyone. <laughs> yeah. Kaibo has one, two, three, four, five separate rivals. Uh, Toxmo, Carathius, Goldenfishy, Sir Booberry, and Ushikun. The only persons that they like are Mislicite and Owen the Wizard. And also, plus 11 for Nom Nom. Well, that does contextualize the art. There's also some art on this dresser. This furniture bears an image of a warrior wearing a formal suit, riding a hyena wearing a jock strap. What the hell? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Why? Okay, it's a warrior wearing a formal suit. <laughs> I don't, I can't tell. I, I assume the hyena is the one wearing the jockstrap. Okay. <laughs> Ka Kaibo authored that beauty. Uh, this one, this dresser has some too from Kaibo. This furniture bears a portrayal of a stone-faced abstract shape. Uh, takes place on the outskirts of a hamlet. That one's pretty normal. Kaibo. This furniture is engraved with an illustration of a dart. A sheriff sits beneath the main subject. I'm picturing them in, like, the sheriff's office playing darts. Some good quality dressers here, Kaibo. <laughs> it's good stuff. Hey, what's up, Alfred? And it's titled Vomit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice that it was titled Vomit. <laughs> uh. This one's titled Black Nephew. What about, we do have a man in black in the colony, but this isn't of anybody. Wait, but is this the sheriff one? No. The sheriff one would have made sense, because, um, the man in black is often a sheriff-type character. Passive-aggressive dresser making. Kaibo, we need to keep an eye on you, because you're making another dresser as we speak. I'm concerned. Apparently dressers are not def are not easy to make when you're making them out of marble. I had a man in black be a zonked out drug guy before. I don't who was our man in black? After renaming them, it gets a little bit harder to remember. I don't remember. None of these backgrounds, unless it was a scout? Scout evangelist? Was it Nom Nom? No, I don't remember. Was it Nom Nom? Also, what's going on? Is power out? No, power's still on. Why is the power going out in here? Oh. Miss Lissa Day is smashing things. A new quest is available called A Royal Needing Help. 
Pompeina Dismas, a countess of the Broken Empire, is fleeing a troubling political situation and wants to hide out at Corpse Haven for 14 days. She will not do any work. You must keep her mood above 40%. That's actually quite difficult to do. Um, but she's not... She's not going... Uh, the 40% is the actual hard part. I don't think we can. So we're just going to ignore that. Just Peachy's picking out on food. We still got ratty apparel? I've been making a bunch of clothes. Clearly we need more. Okay, we need at least three more parkas. I'll make two pants, three more parkas, two more button-down shirts, and two toques as well. Keep that ball going. Uh, Miss Liz Day, can you give it a rest? With that sword, you have become something of a menace. No one can stop you. If only Ushikun could see this side of you. You know? Owen already knows. You cheated on- don't- no, 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 not the heater. I'm sorry to make you do this, Owen, but go in there quick. We can't allow the heater to break. Owen already knows this- has to put up with this shit all the time, so he just comes in and handles it. You broke another wire?! We're gonna need more cable coming down, but not yet. Just turned off power to the entire area. Uh, Kaibo, I know that you're enjoying yourself right now, but could you please make this conduit for me real quick? You just look over at Mrs. Day and chat just goes, hee hee hee. Oh, very funny. Actual menace. Kaibo, that one. Kai Kaibo, that one. No, not the marble. There you go. Okay, power's back. <laughs> Craither gifted a sub to Nom Nom, uh, who was also back for six months. Nom Nom, please stop trying to abandon the colony. That'd be awesome. Thanks. And also stop being catatonic and uh, really just not helping anybody. Research on biofuel refining is done. Build biofuel refineries to make chem this fuel from biological matter like wood or foodstuffs. And we are quickly running out of things to research. So, I feel like that should be one of our top priorities now. Let's just do wake up production. And I guess pemmican can't hurt, but we don't like need it. So I need to figure out where I want research to be done. I want, like, a cool-looking laboratory with... I know a lot of people say just do two research benches, but, like, I'd never need to. And also, two high-tech research benches is an insane luxury, because it's ten components a piece. Five hundred steel total. So, like, one is the most I can realistically hope for when we only have 15 total components uh, in stock at the moment. Put it in the ancient evil spot. Uh, I don't think I will. Let's take a look at the planning for a bit and figure out where we want all this to go. Oh, by the way, I did I did just a teensy bit of planning off stream last time. Uh, just a little bit. All I did was add a hallway and a hallway and a hallway and a hallway that just connected up to this hallway. So, that's all I did. <laughs> D-faces. So, I, I didn't do any building. I didn't even unpause. Um, I just put down a plan for a hallway that would navigate around these things. And the reason I did that is because it was quite tedious to do. Because I had to, like, line up the little spots where I want lamps or heaters to go. And what this does is allow us to just build uh, plans for the actual rooms on the other side of it if we want to, right? 
Because that's the benefit of having a hallway that stretches all the way east to west, is we could just fill up this entire section with rooms. And just connect them there, so that way they're close to uh, the people's living quarters. <laughs> Planned without us. <laughs> yeah, I streamed a private stream. It was just me. I was the only one watching. Midas was looking over my shoulder. We also need some prison area quarters. I was thinking about, like, what about if we made this the prison area? Because there's not a lot of space here for much. And there's clearly no room on the west side for prison cell. So if you w you want some planning gameplay, well, you got it. Because I have no- I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Do we want to give the- Do we actually want to give them a 5x5 five five for the prison? Don't they like the spacious rooms? <laughs> one by three. Only place- one place to stand and a bed. <laughs> prison with nutrient paste. Just make a giant prison barrack with a nutrient paste, um, distributor inside the room. <laughs> that, like, feeds into them so nobody even has to go in there to drop off food. <laughs> That could actually be fun, even though it's not efficient. It's efficient for the wardens, but it's it's uh, the more you make happy the prisoners, the quick more quickly they'll join you. And the problem with having a barrack is if they go berserk, they start fighting each other. Then you have to break it up. But it does sound fun to just try out having maybe both, maybe maybe both. We could have. It's a mega base, right? Why do we have to pick one or the other? We could have, like, a handful of cells. Like, realistically, we're probably not going to have more than four prisoners at a time who we actually care about. And then we could have, like, four individual rooms and then one barrack overflow. We should also, because it's a mega base, have a prison hospital room. So that way they don't just be put in their cell. Get, once we have the technology, like uh, heart rate monitors and stuff, they need to get better treatment. Okay, so, hmm, what is that going to mean? Because we have to worry about prison breaks, so we don't want them to be able to prison break. So I don't want to put them too close to an exit. But at the same time, I want them to be close enough to the existing colony and colonists that we don't have to go uh, ages away to tend to them. I don't know what type of room I would even want here. I feel like this is actually a good area for the prison cell. As long as we keep this outer perimeter wall in check, I don't know. I don't want them to have access to the power and like prison break and like start breaking the power supply and stuff. Just looking at the map chat, where do you, what, north, south, east, west, where do you think uh, we should have the prison ward? Prison architect stream win. Might be more likely than you think. Close to the kill box and the medicine. Yeah, that is kind of why I was thinking that up there. We could, um... What if we just attached it to... Like, this future hallway? And have prison... Prison stuff, like, up here? Maybe? I, I, I don't hate this area, but here's the problem with it, watch. I think it's gonna run out of room too fast. 
Okay, so imagine we have a hallway here. Imagine we have a hallway that's like three wide. And then imagine that this is gone. Like, this is not there. We'd have to have a solid wall on the other side, obviously. Probably like a turn. Could go down to here. Okay, this is just for demo purposes. All right, and then wall on the other side. This looks so chunky, but I think it's actually correct. Okay, so if you want a three wide hallway, then this is the part where maybe the barracks should go, then the individual cells like down here. So it'd be, Five by five, five by five, no space. <laughs> uh, we could bump this up and just like double wall it on the outside, but that seems really dangerous. Because I don't want sappers to be able to easily dig into the base. That's my fear. What about... This is the sub sound. What, okay, let's, let's just delete this. This is why I did some planning off stream. <laughs> this is precisely why. Okay, what if those- what if there's two rooms there? We could probably even get a third. I wanted to get a fourth, though. Or we could have six. <laughs> I love how the options are either, uh, yeah, three, or what about seven? How about 12 jail cells? Unlimited prisoners. You can never have enough. Actually, bump it, bump it down one more. Okay, let's see how this looks. So let's do, and let's be smart this time. I know being smart is difficult, but when I say be smart, what I mean is... Misclicks. What I mean is we got this whole thing here. That we can just copy and paste. So why not just copy and paste? Okay. Uh, so... That's, uh, six cells. And then we could have, like, the barracks slash... Oh, dude, what about, like, a little hospital ward for them? We could have, like, a prisoner hospital right here. C. 
six by six. Let me let me think about like how the beds are gonna go though. Okay, so it'd be maybe just four hospital type beds. We're gonna have to make these out of marble too. Good. This is tough. This is just so close to this side wall. To the point where there's no room for anything. Uh, I don't know. This is too, this is too <laughs> congested. You don't, we don't have to do it the exact same style. It also doesn't have to conform to that same shape. It can go like further down. Man, the, the, the RimWorld DJ is pumping some tunes right now. Ignore that. One, two, let's do like this. Okay. All right, okay. Ignore that. I think it's gonna be a room about this shape. <laughs> I hate that it, hang on. I hate that it makes a little the little mining thingies are distracting. How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's good. Two spaces on both sides. It's kind of a large room for just uh the prison hospital. It's a bit on the large side, so let's bring the corners in. That's okay, and I think that'll look nice. Then we got room on the sides for lamps, lights, heaters, uh, a medicine stockpile will be close by. We're probably gonna want another double wall, kind of just like going like this. All right. So yeah, prison, prison, um, hospital area here. We can also do this. Bring the walls in even closer. Okay. Got these little nooks. I like, I like the nooks. I like nooks. There we go. Bam. We got one, two, three cells, four, five, six cells, probably more than we'll ever need for the, the prison ward. And now for the big room. I want this to be double walled. Okay, that looks good. This should definitely be double walled. Then we're going to bring... Um, At least like a seven by nine or something. It's probably gonna go eleven by eleven. This is gonna be just a huge, a huge. Uh, let's make it eleven by nine. The prison barracks. We'll create like a little sleepy nook. Uh, 
How many people do you think should be in here? <laughs> 40. There's not gonna be 40 people. I can promise you that. <laughs> it would just be all beds. Okay, something like something like this. Something like this. <laughs> They're gonna be fighting their own bugs. The prison barracks could also be used as overflow for visitors slash guests. Hmm, that's interesting. I hope they don't mind being uh, slotted in next to all the prisoners. <laughs> Guest prison. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Alright, that's not quite what was planned. Uh, I guess I could take this off, but then we got this awkward diagonal here. And if I do this, then this prison cell is not a 5x5. Five five, which is the prereq. Alright, well, in that case, just delete. You tried. Okay, so I'm thinking, right? Maybe just... I was gonna put, like, this. Beds in the corners, sort of. Almost like a bunk-style area. So we got eight beds in here. That's probably the most we would want in a single... Uh, barrack, and then we got room for, like, tables, eating, uh, actually what we can do is have this still be... Hmm. What if I did this? Just move it down one. Why move it down one? Because if we create a little, like, maintenance access section here, then uh, we'll be able to create a room for nutrient paste. <laughs> it's a little close to the beds. <laughs> I, well, yeah, now that I'm looking at this, this doesn't really make sense unless we bump it back another one. But if I bump back another one, we're getting too close to the edge, which means sappers are going to be a big issue. I don't want them to break in through the prison. Pace would make more sense on this side, but then you've got a separate problem, which is how do you refill it? I guess this is fine. I just don't like this bed being right there. But it is a, it is supposed to be a cell. So it's not supposed to be the pinnacle of luxury. All right, we need uh poppers, hopper poppers. Three's probably plenty. Why the prison? Uh, to put prisoners in? <laughs> that would that would be my first use. Well, we'll probably do, I guess here. Create uh, another buffer. Uh, 
That way, this is not... And then we can just mine this all out if we wanted to. Not yet, though. Not yet. I don't want them to do that now. Okay, so that can be refilled with the food. And then there's plenty of space to decorate inside this barrack with whatever we want to do. That was the wrong one. There we go. And we'll have like an entrance be like there. There. Okay. The plan is in motion. So we're doing all that. Um, that really didn't solve the immediate issue of <laughs> where do we want the laboratory to be. Uh, yeah, I wanted to create like a space so that we could do some high-tech researching and that did not accomplish anything there. Also, we're going to make a save again. December Mist and Crims are in the stream. Crims, thanks for the tier one sub for 27 months who simply says Mega Base! And December Mist, happy one year. Thanks for being around for 12 full months. Much appreciated. The final straw was, eh, the barrack's pretty decent. The ba the ba that barrack is pretty decent. I'm just gonna go off and wander myself. Thank you, it didn't let me put a message in on my phone. Oh, well, thanks for watching on your phone. Phone viewers in chat as we speak. <laughs> oh, uh, one thing we can do here. How's the temperature in here? It's pretty good, but it's gonna get very warm, I guess, during, um, during the summer months. This is intended to be, like, a medicine zone. I was actually planning on kind of two medicine zones in this room, but now I don't remember where the second one was gonna go. Maybe I was only planning on one. Well, here's what we can do. We can create one pile that is explicitly for, like, good quality medicine. So we can have one for, for regular meds. We can have a separate stockpile for herbal. And we can have a third stockpile for Glitter World. That way we get one of each. If you watch on your phone, you sacrifice your right to use better Twitch TV. You must only look this at everyone, Omega Lolling, and imagine what they see. Well, good news, we have two unowned beds in here. What we don't have are vents. We should also go there. We've almost completed work. All right, Kaibo, I respect what you're doing here. I actually can't right click on this, which is odd. Why can't you right-click on this? With anybody, actually. I've never seen anything that you can't right-click before. Um... Oh, they're re what is replacing? I'm not sure.
Maybe one of the commands got bugged from the replace mod? <laughs> oh. <laughs> A pack of man-hunting polar bears have entered the area, driven insane by the disease known as Scaria. They will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. That is a problem. Polar bears hunting in a pack. Woo! Okay, let's see where everybody is. Anyone anyone in that area? Thankfully, nobody's in that area. Alright, we're gonna get animals. Well, here's a nice thing. We can actually change the whatever zone. To include all this, because this is, like, safely walled in. So, they can actually go all up in this area if they want. Actually, that's not entirely true. Let's, let's clear the possible bug spawns. <laughs> I don't want- I don't want to have to edit this later when we get an inevitable infestation. Okay, and then we're gonna pop all the animals into that zone. So they're staying inside. We need to change- let's change this up. There you go. Okay, that should keep them safe. I honestly... <sighs> There's zero probability that we can fend off all these polar bears. But on the flip side, like, I just don't want them to trigger every single spike trap that we painstakingly have built. So. I don't know how to handle it. Just peachy and end table. Could use some weapons. Just Peachy is nimble and would like some kind of melee weapon. If we have one. Got this Masterwork Gladius, but... Someone else should probably wield that instead of you. We got a lot of 11? Okay, actually, Toxmo the Brawler can take this. Just Peachy, you don't... We don't have any melee weapons. <laughs> we should make some more. Uh, the smithy's currently offline. I'll make another Gladius and another Longsword and another Helmet. Okay, a little too late for that. Well, let's grab the fam. You know what? Screw it. Let's just all hide inside. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. It's just gonna happen. What's the point of spike traps if you don't want to use them for raids? I, because this isn't a raid, they'll just wait outside peacefully. Uh, I would rather use them for people who are actively trying to burn down or break the base. That is why. So, let's do this. I'm gonna take at least a handful of people with guns. How fast are polar bears, by the way? Polar bears are 4.6. Flaming camel, for reference, is 4.2, so they are faster than us. Okay, we gotta keep that in mind. <laughs> Exceedingly fast. Just poured myself a bourbon. Nice, Casey. Very nice. Craspoo has flown into a murderous rage and is planning on killing end table with a lamp. I mean, not they're not going to kill them with a lamp. The you, you get it. Anyways. Craspoo has a spear. So we have no choice but to attempt an arrest with Miss Lissaday. And I need to get everybody else inside immediately. It's 
let's, let's just change Toxic Gamer House. To not include any outdoor areas here. Painstaking process, but a worthy one. <sighs> okay, I think that is it. And then I'll expand it on the flip side so they can at least participate in all of these fun activities. Okay, is that everybody? Is that everything? Did we do it? So, we're gonna schedule everybody except Ms. Lizaday. Not into safe house. So that way they go inside and wait. I was about to say something, but I'm going to monka sh what? Is your problem, chat? He doesn't see. Oh, that there's like a, a thin strip right here. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's almost the color of snow. Okay, here they come. So the plan is thus. Uh, hold this door open. Wait a second. Why are you outside? Why are you outside? Why is she outside? There's another one? <laughs> uh, is there... Is there more? I don't think that there's more. Why? I don't know why she was going outside. Okay, anywho... This is gonna be a little scary because here they come, chat. Here they come! Any plans for Jeff merch? No, because it's not my symbol, it's Putt Putt. And, uh. And our bear friends. Okay, so if we had more firepower, this would probably be doable like this. traps, I guess. They're all hitting all the stone traps! They're gonna try and break down the limestone door, but they won't break down the second door. <laughs> There's a lot of bears. <laughs> and they're starting to bleed out everywhere. <laughs> well, good luck, everybody. We're just gonna have to sit and wait. We could probably go out there and handle it now. If we did it from the north. As long as we don't have anybody go crazy. Which, as you all know, is unlikely at best.
We'll go from the top. Why is he still break? They're not supposed to still be breaking down the doors. Well, he stopped with seven HP left. So Golden Fishy, I guess, is about to die. <laughs> we are gonna make an attempt at saving them, but there's only so much we can do here. Golden Fishy, maybe rest in peace soon. All right, he's dead in five hours, bleeding out on the ground from polar bear bites. Craspu is in a state of, oh God. Craspu is in a state of confusion. Not a good time. Good luck, Golden Fishy. Chat, why are you guys laughing at Arm Destroyed? That's That happened a long time ago. Burgled did that. It's old news. gonna be tough. This is gonna be a little tough. Owen adding some firepower. We got backup. I don't want them to have to melee fight bears, but if they have to, then they have to. Getting some good snipes. They're coming through our own defenses. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send Toxmo on a rescue op to get Golden Fishy and bring them inside. Got two down. They're climbing over, we're handling it. There's still a bunch of, there's still like five bears down here. All right, let's allow uh, Kaibo and who else is the most pissed right now? You guys are, oh, Burgled can go. Everyone else come with me to finish off the rest of these bears before we all sleep. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so. We do actually have some medicine in the hospital, so I'm hoping that Toxmo will be able to uh, do what needs to be done down there. It just takes a while <laughs> to get to the hospital, <laughs> which is a problem. And I think the rest of the bears have been handled. All right, actually, Golden Fishy, we will have medicine shortly. Like, imminently, so I'm gonna allow Toxmo to go get some meds for you. We need a, we need a, a little medicine cabinet on this side. Okay, I think the bears are either dead or dying now. Toxmo's got you covered. Good quality treatment, medical emergency. I know, I see it. All right. All right, let me make sure, is there anybody still recruited?
You guys all safe? You guys all good? Alright, everyone's good. But Miss Lizaday is about to pass out from exhaustion. Craspoo's dementia has resulted in her sleeping in the prisoner bed. <laughs> she forgot uh, where she came from and who she's been <laughs> working with all this time and think that she is still captive, apparently. Didn't you arrest Kraspu? Shh. The door's open, chat. She just doesn't know. She just doesn't know. She has dementia. <laughs> We're keeping her in there while the polar bear threat was still was still afoot. I don't even remember why we arrested her at this point. Okay. Back to work. Uh, it's time to move into these bedrooms because we actually have heaters. So let's pick um, the people who are in the worst moods in the barrack. Just Peachy's feeling great. Whoop's feeling great. Okay, Burgled, you get your own room. Maybe I should have waited until the night was over. Uh, Carathius is also feeling fine. Oh yeah, attempted murder. True. We'll let Carathius go in there. Why don't we move... Hmm. Probably want to put, like... <laughs> Corpse obsession. Probably want to put Toxmo or at least one doctor uh, within easy access of the hospital itself. So there could be room for like two doctor bedrooms over here or something, maybe. Sir Booberry, who are you going to dig out this? Wait a second. Who? You already dug somebody out. Where'd you put them? Eppy, what are you doing on this table? You're not supposed to be there. Bringing Eppy back again. Just can't get enough. I don't need any, any more infections or diseases. Dude, I gave you all heal root too, and you still got a foot infection. Toxmo's a bit far away. Flaming Camel is maybe just as far. I'm gonna send Flaming Camel over. We really need to get auto doors on the hospital, too. That would be useful. You got a 68% quality tend. We're going to keep our eyes on it and see if we need to give it better treatment or just amputate. Kaibo has created a marble dresser masterwork quality. It is titled a cuboid. An engraving of this furniture depicts a shell. The whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of hundreds of burglars. The work conveys the emotions of combat. Hundreds of burglars. Let's make sure all these beds are good or better quality. Ooh, we got some excellent, excellent beds in here. This is shaping up nicely. It's taking a little while, but it's getting there. Gonna need you guys to mine all that out. Gonna create some limestone doors. 
plenty of things to do. We need to get you guys some lights in those top bedrooms. And we're missing one block in here. There you go. Let's claim and uninstall the pottery. So much happening. Do some cheeseburgers sound nice. Hello, Brynjar Bjorn. Welcome to stream. All right, who's... Golden Fishy, how's your infection? You're actually in the green. Okay. This is... They need sensory mechanite treatment. I think we just got a nice heal root harvest. Let's forbid sowing on the corn, and then we'll grow more heal root there. We also are slowly running out of food. Hunting some elk. Would be nice, maybe hauling in that arctic wolf. I don't even know how that died. And power is a problem right now, too. So it might be a good time to allow these other wind turbines to be built. Been watching the VODs all week while playing my own heavily modded game. Happy to get to see one live. Hey, Narfwak. Uh, you're here at a great time, because every male colonist has felt a wave of high anxiety and extreme anger as a distant an engine of hatred stirs. That is very bad. The voice is unbearably loud. It's hard to concentrate. I find myself talking back to it, yelling at it, but the streamer just keeps shouting at me! Well, it's been fun. <laughs> Give me the flake. Uh, what's up, Marky Mark Aurelius? Thanks for two years of sub with the tier two sub, dude. Appreciate the double sub. And uh, welcome back for 24 months, Marky Mark. Glad to have you. Our, our short-term goal here is just to finish kind of these rooms up top, move people in there. And then we can start working on um, mining out the rest of this little area. Maybe get some batteries back here. Looks like they've already kind of started mining this out. Which we may want to cancel. Wake up! Production is complete. We're gonna need some power lines going back here, too. Okay. A little bit more, please. That'll get us started. One day we'll be able to make drugs. <laughs> but not today. Not today. Alright, I hope this uh, psychic wave doesn't last too long. Whoa! Whoa! Almost let that one slide. Caught that at just the right time. No good drugs for you. Somebody put that back. Uh, a couple, well, at least one or two people are hypersensitive. Oh, gods. Carathius! Minus 54! Slept in the cold, rebuffed by Kiva Wallow, disturbed sleep, undergrounder, indoors is a plus three, though. What does that say? That's, that's the only thing you got going for you. I like working, or simply being indoors. Hey, me too. I'll build an auto door here. This is where we're gonna have a food stockpile. We're gonna need to like, I guess, make two food stockpiles. One will need to be for simple, one will need to be for, for fine, I guess, for now. I'll put 
put the simple in the back. And then the fine in the front. There you go. <laughs> Just, these guys are building around the clock. It never stops! There's just so much to do. All right, we knew this was coming. High Psychic Drone has caused Carathius to uh, fall over and be unable to get up. The resonation in their brain, the resonance, simply too much to bear, bouncing back and forth. Toxmo is going on an insulting spree against Owen, which is also not good. Rescue. Flaming Camels coming to the rescue from somewhere. By the way, you guys are free to go now. I mean, you've been doing fine indoors, but you're also free to go. The polar bears weren't usable anyways. Tox, I think you misclicked the fine stockpile. That's okay, we have to come back and redo it anyways, because I don't- I'm not prioritizing it yet. But yeah, we're not gonna put any- actually put anything in there until we get a door. Also, we'll need a cooler. Where I'm just gonna vent the heat back into the base. Because it's gonna be in need of heat in the base anyways, most of the time. All right, what did you guys, oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Toxmo finally getting bruised after biting Owen, not once, but twice. Just Peachy has given up on this community and decided to pursue a better life elsewhere. Can everyone stop just giving up on the colony? This one's getting a little old, dude. Why do you not think we are a good colony? We're doing so much right. We're winning, we're having fun. Also, Owen is going to rest in the hospital bed and then Toxmo will be standing by to help them even because they're the ones that inflicted the wounds. Or maybe Flaming Camel will. Zoomed in on the wrong party. Oh, Toxmo actually got up to do it. How nice. And we're gonna keep tending Golden Fishy, who is almost immune. Oh yeah, Toxmo didn't get any medicine. Oops. <laughs> I guess we are still a little short on medicine. We have 41, which isn't as nearly as much as it sounds. So hopefully you don't get infected, Tox. I mean, Owen. I should have paid more attention to that. Just Peachy, I want you to think about what you've done. I hope you thought about what you've done. The bear pile. What of it? <laughs> yes, go on. What of it? <laughs> it's right where it's supposed to be. Uh, the high psychic drone has led to back-to-back -back freakouts here. I still I still don't see what you see. You all see Mickey ass. I don't see that. I just see uh, I can see this, but where do you see as Avic so deftly put it, Badonkadonk. Over there. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be over there, but I don't because <laughs> to me this looks like a forced perspective with like Front feet, back feet, Eevee. I don't see... 
This does not look like an ass to me. I don't see it either. It's such a stretch. I think chat just sees what they want to see. I think chat just sees the images saved on their computers. Kraspu is wandering around in a psychotic state due to being malnourished. Well, then you're not going to get any food that way. <laughs> he knows about my Mickey folder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's looking to the left? How he looks like he's looking straight into the camera. How's he looking to the left? <laughs> well... I saw this coming. This was my own fault. Uh, wow, this colony is having some difficulties right now. Toxmo! I can never find you in the list, Toxmo. You're right there. Seventy percent quality tin. Let's see if it's enough, so we don't have to amputate this leg, please. I posted it in so annoying. I don't want to see it. She's the worst. I'm not gonna post it on stream. <laughs> I'm not gonna post it. Fine, I'll post it. Let me see. I I still think it's a stretch. It's still a stretch. Where did I- where did it even get saved? I accidentally saved it to my personal pictures folder where I keep my stream images. And graphics. You didn't even title it, shaking my head. This is what chat sees. Again, you're having to cut out a lot of stuff to see this. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You're having have to remove a lot of pieces of the colony to see that. <laughs> Just the right amount of things are cut out to make it... <laughs> to make it visible. All right, don't let Owen the wizard die. You got treatment in nine hours. The psychic oh. drone is ending. Oh, this Owen. Is the sound. Owen? What is with this giving up on the colony thing? This is the sub sound. It's- it's spreading like wildfire. I can't stop him. P.S. Chai, negative 43 outside. We caught up on our- our warnings, though. Tattered apparel. Let's see. Kaibo needs new hats. Soon, new pants. And we need another new parka. <laughs> Hat and drugs. <laughs> All right, Owen, eat that, then pick up your assault rifle again. Everyone's dropping all their weapons because we keep having to arrest them. Is the stallion uh, haul trained? Almost. About to have another hauler. It's going to be awesome. Okay, rice is basically done. So we're going to harvest that and then I guess try corn again. 
This time blight free, ideally. Golden Fishy, the slave, is fully healed. You're not the slave anymore. You're free, Golden Fishy. You're free to work in my colony forever. You got an eight shooting. I'm allergic to colonists with only eight shooting. You can have a chain auto shotgun again, I guess. I like that Flaming Camel's on perma cleaning duty. Actually, even though this is still ugly underground, at least if we can get all the dirt and debris out, that makes it a lot more livable. Plus the lights themselves. Which the problem is we keep stacking more and more lights. Which is going to cause some power issues that we're currently already facing. Which is why I've allowed them to build the wind turbines. We're barely keeping up with demand right now, it seems. Once the sun lamps go off, it gets a little easier, obviously, because the geothermals work around the clock, which is nice. We're due for an infestation? Chat, you're just wishful thinking. We've already had two infestations in about a year in-game. We're only on the fifth total year of the entire game. We literally just had a 16 strong polar bear raid. And a high psychic drum. The Manhunter pack was like last season. The last infestation, in fact, was also last season. It hasn't even been one month. It's been one month since the last infestation. A bulk goods trader. Thank God. A court of aquarium is approaching. We need this. Pemmican research done. All right, we actually do not have anywhere else to anything else to research. We need the high tech bench. Owen, how's the disease? Doing good. Doing good. Let's have Miss Lissa Day get treated for mechanites. I think I'm going to allow everybody back on the healthcare train. I can't wait to put lights in here and pave this as well so that we move faster through it. Okay, Miss Lissa Day, you will be the one that treats with our grand visitors. Go talk to Sammy. Nom nom, please. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Kiva Wall <laughs> keeps being on the receiving end of Lil Mandingo and Epi. Uh. No, they left before we could get there due to the cold. Ah, I needed to trade. I even sent Miss Lissade out as fast as possible to try to prevent that exact scenario, but since the guy that actually did the trading was the slowest one, he was the furthest away and thus the first one to leave the map. Which is extremely unfortunate. We need to make... Um, we, we have the capacity to do this now. We can make a comms console now and trade beacons, but I'm just not ready because they don't have a permanent place for them to go yet. Quest available, the Manic Prisoner. Petronia, uh, your keepus, a dame of the Broken Empire, has been caught in bed with the wrong person. She imprisoned the inappropriate lover in a show of rejection. Now she wants you to keep the prisoner, Tatiana Tati Milston, caged until the scandal blows over in five days. 
Tathi is sick with blood rot and will require daily treatment. Yeah, it's okay. I don't have enough medicine for that. Somebody can sleep in here. There's just not a proper light yet. I'll send, uh, actually I'm going to put Golden Fishy in this bed. Then we, that way we can uninstall the bed rolls. Wait, someone needs to fix this. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Okay, so, no more just random bedroll sleeping. This should be a proper bed for everybody at this point. Uh-oh. Owen is going to murder the person who has been treating their wounds. Miss Lissaday is about to pass out, and thus is not the best candidate to arrest Owen again. In fact, Toxmo is too close. Nom Nom may be able to catch them first. Scoop them right up under their arm. How many times has Owen been arrested? More than once. <laughs> Recently. <laughs> Just get yoinked. It's nice having people with good warden skills so that's at least a guarantee. The downside of it is the negative 10 uh, mood debuff that sticks around for a while. Well, at least this way we can tend to Owen one last time. And then somebody else can come and, and release them from <laughs> prison. Wish there was a criminal record tab. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be super useful. All right, well, everybody observed rotting corpses, apparently. Probably the one that was exhumed. I don't think there's any people around here. It's taking a long time to get these rooms up and running, but... They are getting there. We probably don't want to store steel here, but it's kind of convenient, actually, if we wanted to build anything out of steel. They must have hauled it from this pocket. Ooh, they did. And there's components down here that are not rotting. You can see time as prisoner and time and mental state in the records. Oh, so there's already a log. That's cool. Craspoo is back. Dementia and all. Moods are looking okay right now. I've seen worse. Okay, we got the corn that we wanted, so if we got the corn, then let's do double up on heal root over here. Food's getting low. No, it's... Wait, no, it's not. We got 700 plus veggies and 27 fine meals, 18 simple meals. Okay, we're okay. We're all right. They're finally cleaning up the great Arctic polar bear holy <laughs> hell on the front porch. Uh, the hospital is usable and good. One day we'll have enough silver. We actually have 2,000 silver. Yo. We do actually have 2,000 silver. I was going to say... That's probably not enough to pave, but it kinda... It almost is. So, okay, let me ask you this. With sterile tile, how far does it have to extend? around the beds that they're getting treatment. <laughs> Line the hospital with money. Kinda, yeah. Does it have to be the entire room? 
RimWorld, does the entire hospital have to be sterile tile? Do sterile tiles have to cover the entire room? Asked two years ago. Entire room, including under doors. And then the next person says, doorways don't affect room stats at all. Uh, the more coverage, the more sterile the room is. It allows garbage, blood, and others to not affect the sterileness of the room immediately. So apparently it's additive. It's not a it's not a binary thing. So we can at least uh, start. I say it's worth it because we're just hoarding all this silver, which is great for buying cool stuff. But there's no reason to want to buy cool stuff. We got a bunch of cool stuff to sell. We can make more silver back later. And sterile tile does make a really useful hospital. So we'll just get that started. It's kind of heavy on steel too. Three steel per tile isn't easy. Okay, so researchers want more stuff to research. I guess just put them on Coco or Curve Bow, Great Bow. They can just acquire knowledge, even if we can't use that knowledge. Darkness has caused me to insult Kivo Wallow. I compare you to an outlaw, says Kivo, in firing back. Oh yeah, well you're an emu, Kivo. This is the sub sound. Take that. Your shooting skills suck. Yeah, you're not entirely wrong there, Burgled. <laughs> Your facial hair is ugly. I am also insulting your height, even though Rimworld Pods don't have a height. How are we doing back here, build squad? Uh, they're getting the walls up. We just, uh, we need power. They built the lights already? Wait, are you- Who was that? Kaibo! I almost didn't notice you. I almost didn't notice you. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. This is not the first time this has happened. Nor, I think, will it be the last. That's a long tunnel to dig to get you out. Okay, it'd be easier to uh, <laughs> quite simply just break down one of the walls and rebuild it, I suppose. <laughs> Accidents do happen. Uh, Kiva, Wallow, and Burgled have instigated a good social fight here. Wait, oh, there's the bite sound. Uh, in fact, Burgled bit off your left little toe. Which is impressive. Oh, you're not even wearing pants, Kivo. Why are you not even wearing pants? How many pants do we need to make? I can't believe- He bit off your toe! And bit you in the leg! Burgled. Need somebody down here to help. I don't. Want, how does this <laughs> these social fights keep resulting in people getting bit? Also, um, we have some collapsed rocks. Don't worry about that. And I'm sure it's nothing. No danger mining inside the giant mountain. None whatsoever. Totally within expectations. Well, I didn't expect for the hospital to be used uh, quite this much. 
but I'm glad that it's it's up and running enough where it can be used. I'm going to create a second like medicine cabinet. Uh, it should probably be. I guess it doesn't have to be refrigerated. Realistically, that's close enough. Like, come on, they're just gonna go from here to there. So it's, it's not a big deal. I do want to have doctors, or at least one or two doctors that live nearby, though. That would be very smart. Hmm. Not enough space. Not enough space for two. Unless, what if you go from this way up? You can, but we're still gonna run into the wall on the right. But you can. And you could just have a little hallway here that links up to this one. But this is going to need to be like <sighs> double or triple walled on the outside because people are going to be breaking up in here. Still... We could do at least the first one. We don't have to do the second one immediately. The first one would be useful, though. So I'm going to go ahead and mine that out. If we can get to it, so that means we, should, we need a door here. Preferably, we probably want auto doors um, all over the place, even if it is greedy. You don't want people to struggle to get in and out of the hospital. Same thing for this door. Owen the wizard has created a masterwork wolfskin pants of excellent caliber quality. Uh, why did I just hear power? Feel complete to make pants. All right, I want to see tattered apparel go away. Tattered hats, tattered parka. We got to make one of each. Miss Lissa Day, don't. Leave the dead to lie, okay? Let them rest. Well, we haven't seen Ling in a while. Flaming Camel says hello. Without fail, there's always somebody there. Uh, need a meditation spot. All right, what type of meditation spot do you like? Yeah, let's see. Mm, meditation focus types. Dignified and artistic. So sculptures, steels, and the throne would be ideal. We have a sculpture in here of good caliber, so I'm gonna put the meditation zone. Wait, that is not under zone. Miscellaneous. I'm gonna put the meditation spot here. Okay, there you go. How long have I had the room impressiveness thingy on on accident? Owen lacks ranged weapon. Okay, let's go pick up your gun. You only have 28 meds left in storage. I am working on that, though. Nom Nom's helping us out. These guys are doing their absolute best. To get three more bedrooms, totally functional. I like what I'm seeing. Kaibo, I'm watching you. Don't get stuck in there. 
I'm gonna make sure nobody gets stuck in there. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, howdy. Howdy, Yenovite. People, hey. No, don't say hey to the corpses, chat. Let them sit in the sarcophagus that we have graciously given to each one of them. Liba Sam, thanks for 39 months of sub. Welcome back with Prime. And Minato says, kill him with Etal Randy's kindness. That's what Randy's trying to do. It's hard to uh, keep everybody fed and keep everybody happy with this many angry colonists. But some solid progress is being made. We've already got basically six more bedrooms almost ready to be moved into. They're not quite there, but they're almost done. I am going to forbid all of the spike traps lest the builders get stuck building them for like the next two full seasons. Oh, let's designate power on this. Because Nom Nom is apparently ready to get rid of some of these bear corpses. Kaibo's picking out on food cuz I need drugs! What up? Yo, Burgled. I need some drugs. You got any? Kaibo and Burgled talked about life's annoyances. Kaibo commented about fighting imps to Burgled. They chatted about food, lunchtime, and board games. Kiva Wallow has suffered total mental breakdown and entered a catatonic state. She will recover in several days due to being insulted. Kiva Wallow um, is still pissed and has still been thinking about that one time that Burgled called Kiva Wallow a beast. This drove Kiva Wallow into a rage and she began a fight, and uh, ever since then, Burgle has been living rent-free in Kiva Wallow's head uh, on the other medical table right beneath her. <laughs> Kaibo yoinked the fine meal. <laughs> and out they go. Well, I'd, I'd say things are going well, but I want things to go even faster. We're not that far off from this being ready to go. Like, my, my priorities are get all the walls built, right? Get all the most essential furniture built. Then go for a full-scale paving effort to prettify the, the, the rooms and get the floors to be beautiful. But having just somewhere they can actually live and make sure that it's heated is of the utmost importance first. We're finally emptying the barracks. There's only four people still sleeping in the barracks. So we're definitely moving in the right direction. Uh, fine meals are a luxury that we don't have right now, so some hunting might be might be good. What are you hunting with? Heavy SMG? Owen and the, the lovers seem to be quite happy now. Uh, let's see how Ushikun and Miss Lissade feel about each other. Uh, Ushikun thinks the world of Miss Lissade, plus 76 relationship. Their most valuable of the pawn. Miss Lizade, in turn, is plus 41 back. Also, her favorite person. Oh, that's not good. Are you going to be able to handle this whoop? I see the answer is yes. Good job. Anyway, in the other quarters, we got Owen with Flaming Camel. 
Uh, Flaming Camel is Owen's most valuable person, and Flaming Camel actually has a plus 100 of both Owen and Miss Lissaday. Uh, I think this is a Miss Lissaday approved affair. Miss Lissaday probably understands that she was the first one to have an affair and is happy for, uh, I guess her husband to experience the love and passion that she has been sampling for years now, maybe months, months or years, I don't know. Apparently it was an open relationship. Now they are husband and wife in name only. Opinion of my lover, Ushikun. Being with my lover makes me feel this way. They did it for the taxes. <laughs> yeah, maybe they did it for the taxes. <laughs> I just love these stories that RimWorld creates. Me too, Knight. Me too. All right, we've actually started working on the sterile tiles. I'm just going to let them finish these spike traps that they've already started on taking ages. I'd much rather than work on the interior here, but we'll take what we get, I guess. <laughs> the IRS official in chat has something to say about that. <laughs> uh, good one. Oh, this door's only at 7 HP? Yo! Because of the polar bears. This is the gift sub. Trial. Golden fishy, why? I'm in a little bit of pain. My sleep was disturbed. Um, otherwise fine, but major break risk. I hate cooking. And making kibble and cleaning. All right, we fixed a uh, perimeter here. Outer door is looking good. Woo! All right, let's uh, let's make a save because it's been a minute. Things are going pretty swimmingly. Chat so swimmingly that I'm gonna take a quick two x brb. What's the worst that could happen, right? Okay, one, fine. 1x BRB. 2x is a little spooky. <laughs> Listen, if a raid comes in and kills everybody while I'm gone, then just don't let that happen, okay? Or else Mickey's going to have something to say about it. So, take care of the base. I'm gonna, gonna step away, go grab a drink, grab a beverage. You know what, I'll leave the audio on. But you do get the BRB music. All right, I gotta go blow my nose, get some of the drink, take Midas out, get a snack, be right back. See you in five, hang tight.
You guys are having way too much fun in here. Way too much fun. There was a fire. Uh, is it contained? Apparently so. It's like off screen <laughs> to the right. Okay. You know? Okay. Fair enough. Why, hello there. How we doing? How are we doing? There. Now I can see you again. Now... I can hear you again. I'm pretty hungry, actually. Three-day weekend. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier. What do you guys... You guys got any plans? Is anyone doing anything fun for the three-day weekend? It's almost beer o'clock, you know? Maybe it is. Maybe. Not yet, though. Wait, what's the holiday? Uh, Memorial Day on Monday. Watching stream. <laughs> What do you guys want to play on Monday? Watching TV, playing games. Nice, Eric. Hope it doesn't hit you too hard. I work the next five days. Well, Troop Noble? You're here now, so enjoy it while you can, I guess. I still want to do more um, Subnautica and definitely more Battle Brothers. And I'd like to loop in something else new, too. But I need... What, what new thing should we do? Snowrunner? I actually do want to play Snowrunner. But, I'm not going to play any car games until I have a full car setup. I have to have a physical car inside of the office first. Snowrunner is pretty cool, though. I remember playing the original one that came out, Mudrunner. I think that was the OG. Hey, all right, let's see what this does to cleanliness. It's actually considered 0 .09 clean. How do you tell when it's uh, getting closer to sterile? I guess it's just going up for each tile. We're getting there. Drive big trucks with the flight stick. Chat, when do you guys want to do um, the next big flight sim morning stream? That's going to take a couple days off to get to that, though. Coco. Sow cocoa trees to create your own delicious chocolate. Eating chocolate fulfills the need for recreation, and it's valuable on the market, too. We're not going to ever grow cocoa trees here. Now, you don't mean that, you Rimworld fiends. You're too addicted. Mm. 
Whoa. That's a lot of thrombos. Uh, do a 12-hour continental flight and then play RimWorld on the plane's monitor. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> In like a tiny, tiny screen where you can't see what's happening. That's true, we were gonna watch something else today. We saw you playing RimWorld and changed our plans. Wow, I feel, I feel very <clears throat> unworthy, but also I feel very low on electricity. They've started building this. The opportunity is there. Kaibo is already doing it right when we need it the most. You only need two components, Kaibo. You can get this done tonight. We're on the cusp of greatness. This is really coming together nicely, though. Kaibo, when are you going to become a full-scale level 20 god? Soon. 8,000 uh, progress points away. Not that far. She's the worst, by the way. Gifted a sub to the IRS official who's back for two months. Thank you, she's the worst. <laughs> for the gift sub to the IRS, I guess. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Well. The flu. So about that medical supply... Let's start getting everybody to go here as fast as possible. If they are not already, we got a breakout of the flu. Does anyone not need to be here? I need like another bed. Um, so who's not coming? I think end table's the only one that's not coming right now. Hmm. We could just pick up one of these beds and move them. Because I think we have some an empty bedroom up here that somebody could go in. We have two, actually. This one just doesn't have heat yet. <sighs> Alright, let's, uh... Reinstall Kiva Wallow's bed. Maybe. And let's also get a doctor to come in. Uh, this time I think the doctors are mostly unaffected. We're gonna get Toxmo. We need two doctors. Toxmo and Flaming Camel, probably. So Flaming Camel, please report to the scene as well. Or else you're all gonna die. All right, Owen really needs to be tended first and Craspoo, but they are the furthest away from the bed. So I'm just gonna have Toxmo tend to whoop. Got an extra hospital bed for end table to come rest in. Flaming camel tend to golden fishy. Toxmo tend to Owen. We got a micro this. All right, is that everybody who's here? Everybody who is, as of yet, here has been tended. Crassboo's <laughs> meandering in. <laughs> Come on, Crassboo, you're dying here, literally. All right, who else does not have treatment? Check, check, check. Wait. Nom nom? Nom nom. 
Why is Miss Lissa Day reserving this bed? Okay, I think that's everybody this time. You're actually improving, I think, because your Mechanites already got treated? Craspu only got a 46% tin quality, so you might just die. Possibly. That's a tasty treat. Chat, maybe I should do some uh, McDonald's reviews again. Possibly. Okay, fam. Let's keep our eyes peeled. We've only got 12 pieces of medicine left. Nom Nom's already, um, pretty much recovered. Is it time to be treated again? Or is this, oh, that's sensory mechanized treatment. And in like a day, we'll have uh, another full batch of heal root, so. <sighs> a little spooky, a little scary. <sighs> but we'll make do. Do Burger King reviews. Uh, how about no? I'll pass. Here's my review. Don't. Unless you're getting uh, anything chicken related is okay. Probably. I actually don't hate the... Um, like the Bacon Kings or whatever they're called. They're not bad, it's just they're expensive. You know? They're just a little pricey. They're, they're, they're kind of big, but not that big. They're about as pricey as Five Guys. At which point you may as well just get Five Guys. Kaibo made a masterwork quality bed, dude. Infection chance multiplier from room 46%. I think that means uh, like 100 being normal. I think. So how much silver do we have left? We have 1,100 actually. So we could do more. And I'd like to do more, but let's, I'd like to focus on these first. I had Raisin Canes today, good stuff. Raisin Canes is good stuff, yeah. Just Peachy! Who do you choose? Who will you pick? Epi on table in Mega Base. I don't think there's a way to bet with channel points on this either, or else I would. Because it had to be a binary choice and there's like five different candidates. The choice is simple though. Lil Mandingo is currently Probably the most exhumed today. It's either Epi <laughs> or not. Only had five guys once, it was delicious. It is really good, yeah. I can't deny, I think they're overpriced as hell, but I still think they taste good. Pricey doesn't equal bad, I just gotta be in the right mood. If it isn't the consequences of my actions. A group of mechanoids from Artoth Mechhive have dropped in right on top of you. Oh no. It's worse than I feared. Didn't I call this already today?
Didn't I say this was going to happen? Where's the history book? They're going in on the hospital. Dude, no. The worst possible place. Oh, no. Anywhere else is better. Uh, how did the thrombos get here? Oh, I left this door open. So they came in to eat the trees? Uh-oh. The thrombos sneaked in. Dude, the we got the flu! I can't- they can't get up and fight with the flu. They don't even have, like, weapons. All right, we need to rearm some people. Uh, Kivo. Please go grab a spear. Carathius. Randy, I would have been happy to tackle this. Except, oh, there's a, actually a better Gladius down there. Get this Gladius. Rathius, come get the spear. I don't know if there's enough time. End table. Come get this mace. Bets? On what? Start a prediction. Two minutes. Will at least one colonist die in combat? Okay, so the keywords here are in combat. Not talking about an infection that happens later. I will count anybody who bleeds out. If you bleed out or are killed, then it counts. If you die of an infection afterward, it doesn't count. I can't wait for this to go to the Twitch Supreme Court. <laughs> we don't even get to see what's in the pods. Correct. You don't even get to see what's in the pod. You got 30 seconds to decide. I better see some bets. You don't even have to put channel points on to bet, so I better see at least 100 people who have chosen one side or the other. You can do it without putting any points in the line. You can just vote to say what you think. You know what would be cool? If you could vote with no channel points, and if you were correct, you get like at least 50 or something. That'd be cool. Like a like a no risk, just fifty point bet. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> Alright, what'd you guys pick? It is Why is it still how much time is left on the clock? To me it says there's negative twenty one seconds. All right, we got 107 on blue believers. We got 100 pink doubters. All right, let's see. <clears throat> I got to wake everybody up. So the plan is effectively to take this door. Kaibo has basically effectively no cover here. Maybe like down here would be better. Or we could have uh, we could have Miss Lissade and Kaibo right here. OK, 
Okay, Golden Fishy is gonna be up and at them. We gotta try and take them down literally as fast as possible. Alright, you guys vote. Sir Booberry's about to flip. Toxmo can come out. Kivo's grabbing some weapons. <sighs> Alright. Oh my. There's not that many of them. It's the only, only good thing here. And my fear is that Kaibo is insanely close. I don't know if Miss Lissa Day can get inside fast enough, so I'm gonna go up here. She's a little on the slow side. Um, we also have this problem where they didn't actually land in the sick bay, but <clears throat> we don't really have a way for the people in the sick bay to cleanly engage. Also, there's a... Then what about Thrumbo Crossfire? Uh-oh. Yeah, what about Thrumbo Crossfire? We could accidentally shoot a Thrumbo and enrage the Thrumbo. And I don't know if they would attack us or the... The mechs first. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, so they're going for Miss Lissa Day first. Which is understandable. We need to get the animals... ...to stay in the safe house. We're gonna get Flaming Camel to go in the door, Toxmo to go in front. Uh, Burgled might be dead. Get inside, Burgled. Okay, we got the door to close. Carathius, get in! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta make sure everyone's actually inside. Shot. Okay, we got it. We got shots going off up here. Understood. There's just a bunch. It's a bunch of scythers. <sighs> There's so many like juggles here. There's a lot to juggle. Okay, so they're kind of like split up in different areas, which could work for us. They're breaking the door, but it's probably gonna hold. Now's the part where we pop out with Golden Fishy. This is the part where we get the squad. Burgle can snipe at them. Okay. Now. Run inside. Easy. Let's see what happens. Now go in. <laughs> He's fighting the Scythers! Yes! And only one of them is enraged. Oh, I didn't 
can see this guy. Got one. Got one. Intentional. Very intentional. We're safe. It's four scythers versus that dude. The steel door is not gonna hold forever, but I don't want to go out and fight the scyther. We're just spraying and praying, dude. Uh, I don't want my guys to go here and shoot because if the other two thrombos get enraged, it's gonna be bad. <clears throat> huh. I'm gonna let them eat. Oh, they actually downed the thrombo. Okay, that was unexpected. This is not a, that's not, this is not a good strat. That side is basically at full health. Okay, it's time for Flaming Camel and Toxmo to make a push here. Uh, I need to get this this squad back. They're gonna end up busting that door open. We just gotta get everybody out and shooting, and this is over. Okay, well, let's make sure the marble door is fine. Oh, where did this guy come from? All right, uh... You guys boogie on out. Oh lord, they're coming, dude. Oh lord, they're coming, dude. Ah! Ah! <laughs> By the hair of our chin! Good old fashioned door strat. Peek, shoot. These guys need to be more productive, but I just can't. You know what? Anger the other thrombo. Anger the thrombo, then poke your heads out and get a little greedy. Don't look at this other thrum. Ah! He's in Manhunter too! Ah! It's over! It's a double Manhunter surprise! He's gonna get us! We still haven't even killed all the scythers yet. It was going so well. It really was going uh, very well until this. I'm gonna send Craspu in here. This thrombo's at full health. There's no way to escape this room either. 
Oh my god. I didn't think that- okay, because we did it the first time just fine. You know? <sighs> we did the first- they downed the other thrombo too. What should I do? No one can fight them 1v1. Hmm, there's gotta be... Okay, really it just comes down to if we can handle these other two scythers with just three people shooting. Graspoo must protect the future generation. <laughs> Ugh, die gloriously. That thrombo is going to shred us, I think. There's nowhere for them to go, and the thrombo's so fast. It's got a 5.5 CS. It's almost two, like, tiles per second faster than us. Or whatever that measurement is. Should have read the notes. Well, I could just stay paused forever and never lose. That would work. Who's it targeting? We don't know. I'm assuming it's gonna hit Golden Fishy. Okay, well, I gotta unpause. Oh, rest in peace, Golden Fishy. You're dead at 11 hours. You're, you're already, one, one attack and you're already almost dead. She is technically not dead. He's dead in eight hours. Technically not dead yet. I don't know if that counted. Oh my god. Why did you go for that? Okay, Kivo. Can you make it to this door? Then rescue Golden Fishy. It's gonna break through this door. Okay, you guys have to go out the other side. Nope, never mind. You're good. Anyone doctor in here? Craspoo technically can, but is oh, oh Kibo can. Okay, so we got these three together, for whatever that's worth. Uh, Craspu, I'm just gonna let you rest in bed. <laughs> this is really stupid. <sighs> Big snipe. I need to kill this guy. 
man, this is a weird time to join the stream. Yeah? You're telling me. Now it took some focus. I gave pink doubters every opportunity. Uh, will at least one colonist die in combat? Uh, people have said yes. Put 1.4 million channel points on the line. Uh, people have said no. Blue believers put 1 million. Blue believers actually get a 2... 0.3 to 1 payday coming in. Quick double points. Even mods are betting <laughs> against me right now. <laughs> there you go. Chad's just like, give me those points. Hey, give me those points. I need them now. Uh, You know what else I need? Someone to tent. Toxmo is in a terrible mood. Flaming Camel is in a better mood. <laughs> Miss Lissaday has given up on this community. She was a little tired and has decided that that's an excuse to leave. I'm recreation starved. I narrowly avoided getting crushed to death by scythers who landed in the middle of my base. I guess I'll go. Hilariously, that's normally the person who we use to arrest other people who leave the colony. I guess she's seen enough people try to leave that she's decided that she'll just do it herself. Well, I'm glad Golden Fishy didn't bite dust. End table with Lamp is having a tantrum. Checking all the flu people. Uh-oh. End table with Lamp has the flu and needs treatment. Uh... Well, what should I do? You kept me drafted after everyone else. Well, you deserved it. <laughs> Ushikun arresting his lover. He's doing his best. All right, nom nom. I guess arrest in table. And guess who's got some thrombo horns? Oh, and the wizard is in a daze. Everyone's just having a real bad time now. Okay, let's get uh, Flaming Camel to wake up and do this treatment. Actually, Flaming Camel's a little on the slow side. Let's get Toxmos here. Wait, why did end table... Dude. <laughs> what? He's escaping? Okay, uh, anyways, as I was saying, we really need some treatments. Is 
There you go. All right, so really, Craspoo's the only one that's currently in danger. It's a 28 to... Tw it's like 1% off. I'm going to risk it again. Chat, where's the medicine? <sighs> Is that it? Incorrect Jeffs in chat, as I just double checked already before you even said anything. Does he have the imprisoned debuff twice now? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hello, Wild Omelet. How you doing? Okay, so what we actually need to do is assign everybody, medically speaking, to no medicine unless you have problems with the flu. I guess I'll allow uh, Craspoo to use the good... Well, we'll do one more regular. Golden Fishy can have one more, too. Okay, anyway, that was a big ordeal. I'm still not confident. Like, we still got some issues. Then, wait a second, why is Craspu getting... No good treatment. Chat, where is the heal root? It's only 96% grown. It should be done imminently. I'm just gonna let Craspu get the good stuff. It's too far behind. 99% tins. That's more like it. If that doesn't save you, I don't know what will. Uh, we do have the second heal root farm, Randy. Okay, this is the sub sound. This one's almost done. A new quest called Extravagant Structure, Yeoman Pestro Dioma is requesting a monument to commemorate the relationship status of his father. <laughs> well, what is the status? It needs like, uh, a just vast amount of blocks. You have 39 days to build it. For 12, 12 honor is a lot of honor. We're not ready for that though. Animals in the farms. Yeah, yeah, that's what the safe house does. It lets, it lets him eat heal root. <laughs> Better to eat the heal root than get cut up by scythers, I guess. I love how they dropped 17 components. It's actually a pretty fair trade. Very reasonable. Uh, Owen? Needs tending basically now. <sighs> End table, are you, uh, gonna be good? If we let you go? Build the recurve bow, an effective and inexpensive ranged weapon. I don't think I will. Not yet. All right, it's time to start moving people in. Uh, let's get them out of the main room. Let's move Golden Fishy. This is the sub sound. Golden Fishy, you get your own room. Okay. Check, check, check. We got a room in the middle here with its own heater. Uh, let's give that one to Whoop. There you go, and this room doesn't quite have a wall yet. Oh, and we got an unknown spot here. 
Let's set that for uh, just peachy. Did we just do that? No, just peachy. You get one too. In table with a lamp is wandering around due to being imprisoned. Uh, don't tempt me, I'll do it again. Chad, I'm gonna have to arrest Owen for the third time this stream, I think. Ushikun, will you do the job? He needs flu treatment. Uh, Miss List Day is currently snoozing, and I'd like that to continue. Nom nom, someone's gotta do business with this bulk goods trader, though. And it, that someone right now is you. Wait. No, you have the flu. Uh, I'll make Ushikun do it once they get to the other side of the base. <laughs> I just ripped that meal right out of his hands. He's like halfway done eating it. Kaibo is in the daze. All right, we can finally trade stuff. Six hundred and thirty-eight thrombo meat. Yo. All right, time to sell. Actually, let's see what we want to buy first. It's a little easier to look that way. I'll buy your single heel root. I'll buy your hundred and seventy-four lumber. I'll buy your none of those. <laughs> okay, that's it. I guess that's all. Uh, here, take my... This stuff's still good. Poor quality plain leather pants. Yeah, sell the plain leather stuff. Uh, cloth t-shirt, that's too cold. Run down parkas and pants. We should just sell as much plain leather as we possibly can get away with. We can get away with about 875, 875, and take all 945 silver away from this dude. I wish I had a bulk goods trader to sell my 4,000 plus leather. They don't have enough money for all my leather. Not nearly enough. All right, and they're leaving due to the dangerous temperatures. That's why we had to go out and meet them. So, uh, with that silver, it is now very safe to go about putting some more floors down. Where is the word floors? Just kidding. Looking for sterile tile. There you go. Put that back there where the medicine is kept. I'm just gonna go all in and uh, finish the job. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun and the solar eclipse has begun. Kaibo in your poor mood, you're tired so you're sleeping. Golden fishies picking out on food. I need to check on everyone's illness. Uh, you have a reasonable buffer there, golden fishy. So does Nom Nom, who just needs treatment. Craspu is tending in 0.7 hours. End table also needs tending. And Whoop is fine. Yeah, these two should be far enough ahead of the curve. That is probably not a big deal. We'll try to keep Craspo alive. 70% quality tents. We have a little bit of an immunity buffer there. 
Crassboot just so old, even a 99 tinned. Yeah, even a 99 quality tinned is not enough. There's a horse in the hospital, so they're our friend. They got shit the hole. Oh, and the wizard has gone berserk and will attack anyone he sees due to poor mood. Owen, please. Please. <sighs> Look how far you've fallen. No one's even around here to, like, deal with this. Breaking our stuff. Now you're gonna make me micromanage this spear just to beat you up. Don't shoot, nom nom. Don't put the gun down. You're supposed to, oh, and you're supposed to come in. I'm sorry to have to do this to you, Owen. But this is the only way you'll behave, apparently. Someone will, I guess, be along to treat you. Um. God, Owen's gonna die, isn't he? God, it's so. So frustrating! Just let me have a- I can't stop pausing because there's so many mental breaks, man. One after the other. I know, it's tough right now. You guys, there's just too many people. I'm losing it, man. I'm losing it. And it's only the people with the flu! Who are having mental breaks? Golden Fishy, flu mental break. Nom Nom, flu mental break. End table, flu mental break. And uh, I guess Missless Day and Kaibo, who don't, but still. I'm gonna accidentally get somebody killed by not giving them medicine when they need it. Like, end table's the one in biggest danger right now. This psychotic wander with no treatment. Why, Randy? Why? You've got me sensory mechanites. You've got, uh, muscle parasites. The flu. Somebody had gut worms. And the other mechanites. In table with Lamp, Craspu, and Kivo Wallow all have muscle parasites now. All that's left is the plague. I think it's the only one we don't have. <sighs> At least muscle parasites can't kill them. It'll just make the mental snap even more for the pain. Yes, good thing I'm getting a harvest of heal root to immediately lose. Okay, Miss Lizard Day's tantrum is over. Uh, did we lose any power conduits? I don't think so, but nonetheless, the power is struggling. We built two more wind turbines, but a lot of help that is when there's no wind, I guess. Uh, batteries are draining fast. Okay, we gotta, we gotta do the thing. The emergency lamp turn off for conservation. Let's turn off the crematorium, the smithy, and the machining table. Why? Why even have this? Does this make you feel powerful, Randy?
Craspoo now has muscle parasites, the flu, and <laughs> sensory mechanites literally riddled with disease, addled with illness. Craspoo also has dementia, cataracts. I, I feel like this is you dying at 80 years old. <laughs> you have to let her go. <laughs> you have to let her go. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can't unpause. It's just too much bullshit to deal with. All right, end table. End table can actually, I think, be treated right now. Kiva Wallace d doing it? No, you're turning to Craspu. End table wasn't there long enough. Okay, batteries are break even now. Going back up. They're gonna be darkness debuffed in a second. I'll turn them back on once the sun lamps are down. Okay, Golden Fishy got a 12% quality tint, which is hopefully good enough considering that, uh, that lead that you've built up. Craspu got a 70% for the flu. Hopefully that's good enough. We should definitely leave the hospital lights on. If nothing else. Alright, I'll, yeah, I'll turn the rest on. Deep breaths, chat. Just take deep breaths. You only have one med in storage. That's okay, we got... A freak localized flash storm is causing, uh, lightning in a small area. Does that area need to be, uh, my power generators? Well, okay then. The flash storm is now over. Uh, in table, are you dying yet? Not yet. You're the only person that's still at risk from the flu. Can we treat you while you're in bed like this? Who? All right, Flaming Cam will do this. No, not feeding. Wait, why can we feed him but not tend to him? He already got tending while I wasn't looking. Who did that? Apparently already got fed. I mean, uh, is getting fed, but already got treated. Quest expires, don't care, low food... Kaibo is the only person who still has tattered apparel, and it's an issue with a hat. So I'll make two more hats. The eclipse is ending, so we'll actually get power back from solar generators. Let's allow these two bottom batteries to charge. Oh, man. The drain. The brain drain. Batteries go down so fast. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, we need more. Okay, Kaibo, come help, please. We don't have steel. We ran out of steel again? We had so much. Well, that does complicate things a little bit. Down we go, I guess.
pick a pick a tube. Start looking. Wait. Oh, whew, we're fine. No worries. The lynx is way up there. Okay, let's get um whoop. And Man, everyone's injured. <laughs> You two to head out. Maybe they'll be. A, maybe these two by themselves will be enough. I need to give the rest of you some weapons. I don't know what your range is. <sighs> We're fine. Don't worry about that. That's just free meat. Steel is gone, and it's gone incredibly quick. Okay, Craspu is not dead yet. End Table is also not dead yet. Golden Fishy is thinking about dying. Uh, and so too is Owen the Wizard. So let's get you down. Let's get Flaming Camels already in here. But I'm going to have you drop your stuff. Nope. And you're actually going to... No. No. What's wrong with this? Thank you. That's what I wanted. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> you can go back to bed. Uh, a quest is available. A shuttle of the Broken Empire's taken damage and seeks a place to land. Its commander, Constantius, wants to land at Corpse Haven. Drives people of the Alliance of Gologo will attack in an attempt to kill the occupants. You must defend them. There are two civilians and five troopers. The commander and civilians must be rescued. The troopers may be sacrificed. After eight hours, a rescue shuttle will come to pick up the survivors. You'll need to get them all on board within 12 hours. We'll get Honor, Psychic Reader, or Goodwill. Gives limited mind reading ability, improving the user's ability to get the upper hand in negotiations and social situations. The effect is proportional to the user's psychic sensitivity. Nope. I'm just gonna focus on making sure everybody heals first. Uh, a lump of plasteel has just made landfall. Also, you never know with those raider groups how big the tribal raiders are actually going to turn out to be. Beavers. So imagine, see, we would have had to deal with the beavers. First of all, I can't... You guys suck. I just want you to know that. They're just going to eat the anima tree, and there's literally nothing I can do about it! Nothing! Uh, I don't know where the Masterwork Sword is. Miss Lizaday, you take that. Carathius, grab. The Mace. Just Peachy. Grab Spear. End Table. We're kind of out of melee. You could grab a Thrumbo Horn. I mean, I can take people out there to go fight, but it's not going to be pretty. We, we don't have enough guns. For that many beavers. Without melee backup. More than two people with melee backup. How long before they decide to eat the tree is what I want to know. Oh man, it's taking people a lot. Such a pain. 
pain in my head when the tree died, and it keeps echoing. The writers are out of ideas. So they just use the same plot device from last time. <laughs> well, we're already here, so we may as well shoot them. I need, some, I need a little bit more accuracy, if you don't mind. Reinforcements have arrived, and they all suck. They got one hit. <laughs> Just go home. Just get out of here. It's too embarrassing. It's not, it, it, that's a little terrifying, but they're not actually chasing you. But if they were chasing you, you'd be dead. This is the <laughs> Gipsos. Where are they going next? Off map? There's no more trees to eat here, so maybe they're just leaving. I have no idea. Anywho, how about people with disease? Owen is cutting it a little close. Golden Fishy should be about to build immunity. Craspu is also cutting a little close, and End Table actually needs treatment. Toxmo was rebuffed by Miss Lissaday. I attempted to create romance, but I got the cold shoulder. Feels bad, man. Two's company, three's a crowd, Toxmo, okay? <laughs> Just back off. <laughs> Alright, is anybody gonna come in here and do this treatment, or...? I'm a little- I'm a little nervous. We got two hours left. End table's got a decent enough buffer. It should be fine. I don't know how Etel can rally these <laughs> mentally fragile buffoons to accomplish anything. I don't know either. It's not been easy. It's 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 definitely getting under my skin more so today than usual. <laughs> It's, it's it's catching up with me right now because we're just we're just in that middle ground of so close to being organized but can't quite go the distance we, we're, we're, we're there's so much tangible progress even just today but we just can't quite close it down. All these moods. <sighs> I'm doing my best. Oh my, I missed the drama. There's plenty of drama left to go around, Buttercup. Don't you have the happy spell? What are you talking about? I have word of trust to uh, recruit prisoners. You just made that up. Just, just use the happy spell, chat. It's easy. Why are you making this so difficult? Even if we did have something that improved moods, you'd have to use it on 15 colonists a day. 
Kiva Wallow is wandering around in a psychotic state due to serious pain. Don't worry, guys. Things will get back to normal. We just need a little bit of time. Just a wee bit of time. Uh, we got bounced back further than I expected as a result. Where did the door go? As a result of um, that one drop pod raid. It wasn't like the worst raid... The hell? There is an angry muffalo that just busted up into the base, I guess? And it's gonna break out? Unless we just hold doors open to allow them to be free? Don't go that way. No, no, don't. <laughs> what is going on? Alright, I guess he's out. I don't even know where that guy came from. Damn muffalo sappers, dude. Okay, Owen needs one last treatment. Please, guys, come on. We're almost out of this. <sighs> Oh, he's already tending. I see. Yes, I know Word of Joy is in my stockpile. I don't want to necessarily give that to Ushikun. And also, I think that there's prereqs, so... Let's take a look, since chat is insistent. I was told that um, if you give colonists, this is Silent level two, and um, Ushikun's probably only level one. So anyways, what, what we're trying to say is, Apologize. This is the gift sub sound. Trial. Chat double down on the happy spell. We made this so beautiful. Leave the potted plants out of it! We're trying so hard to get new rooms all going up here. Alright, we really need to find steel. We found more components. Not what I was looking for, but okay. Uh, we still have slag. So if we just had somebody going around the clock on slag, that would at least be some. All right, illness. Craspu is gonna make it. Everyone's developed immunity. Nobody was killed by the flu. Progress. Now let's have Kaibo focus on building. We need steel. I just saw s there's steel there. Ushiku, do this for me real quick, buddy. Need steel. Who's taking this? Who did, who's taking this? Oh, we're doing sterile tiles first. That makes sense. I should get those big, ugly X's there instead. This only needs 40 steel. All right, you can do it now, Kaibo. Already doing it. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Proactive. All right, Ushikun, that is a nice little stack. You can do what you want. Probably should have shut that door. That's okay. 
Kaibo is not finishing the door. Because lazy. Here we go. Who's going to be this time? Carathius <laughs> just become obsessed with corpses. My money. I got to go with Epi this time. It's definitely going to be Epi this time. It was Lil Mandingo. I, Lil Mandingo was my first response in my head, but I was like, no, no, no. Lil Mandingo was last time. There's no way it's going to be Lil Mandingo again this time. But it was. Kaibo, did you fail building the door? No. But it's leaking all the warm air outside. It's kind of a big problem, actually. Okay, now it should heat up in here so we don't get slept in. It's negative 28 in the beds currently. <sighs> As was always meant to be, no doubt. As was always meant to be. <laughs> we got it back to zero. <laughs> It's 30 degrees warmer. Oh, going back up. <laughs> now we're in the tens, almost in the teens. Moving towards freezing temps. <laughs> Just put everybody on ice in our impromptu cryo sleep. Uh, chat, we, I just noticed we have zero veggies. And that's a little scary. That means we need to go hunting. We're about 83% to a potato harvest, 71% to a corn, and 92 on the next heel route. All I want to do is finish this. This is all I want to do. It's all I care about. Once we get this done, people's moods are going to be so good. Because they're going to be sleeping in the warmth. They're going to be sleeping in a beautiful room. It's going to have tiles. It's going to have furniture. I just have to get them in here. But they keep going crazy. Um, let's give Kivo their own room all the way up here. Owen is going to smash up random furniture due to the anima screen. Those, those angry, angry beavers. Causing so many problems. Ushikun, finish the job. This is embarrassing. You're embarrassing everyone. Yak 1 is currently starving because we are out of kibble. The colonist is still unburied on the table and I just forgot. Uh, Owen lacks a ranged weapon. Yeah, it's going to consistently be a problem. And we have low <laughs> medicine. <laughs> Hello, chat. I am eating gelato. I thought I said potato. Which is fair enough. Okay, Owen, pick up. Uh, where's your rifle? Let's try and get rid of some of these. Sir Booberry has got a tattered button down shirt. We'll fix that. Take a deep breath, everybody. Deep breath. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. Listen to that music. Listen to that charming music. That's what that means. It means everything's gonna be okay. All research is done. Now we're just building. Happily building. 
making uh, this beautiful new area filled with marble murderous rage. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Tired, was imprisoned, greedy, anima scream, rotting corpse, recreation. All right, Miss Lisa Day, you do have a lot of reasons to want to kill um, our colony. But have you considered not doing that? Run, Sir Booberry. Oh my god, dude. It's just a deluge. I can't- I can't stop. I can't- we can't make it stop. It's just raining all the time. The infinite dominoes. Over and over and over again. The definition of insanity style. In spite of all that. There is a lot of good happening. We are extremely close to achieving our goals. <laughs> At least I'm not breaking anymore. You are not currently breaking. Currently being the keyword. There you go. Plenty of jobs to do. We're going to get you guys a lovely little light in this area. We're going to get you a lovely little light across the hall. There you go. That's going to be gorgeous. Now all we need is more power. Easier said than done right now. Uh, the search for steel has so far been very inconclusive. Really just need somebody to work around the clock on the electric smelter, and that's going to help us out a lot. Talix, I'm telling you, this is a wonderful place to live. Now be happy about it! Remember when you all had to share the same bunk, and now only Craspoo and Intable have to share it? I mean, come on. Let's deconstruct the steel bed. Let's deconstruct the... We'll keep the wooden bed. We'll keep both wooden beds. We c Somebody moved <laughs> a bed from here. <laughs> uh, I don't know what happened to that. Yeah, I just need someone to work for 30 hours straight on creating steel for us. I don't understand why that's such a big ask for so many people. It doesn't seem like it should be that big of a deal, personally. Alright, just Peachy, why don't you do the honors? I'll have you handle it, okay? Owen's making clothes. Kaibo is building stuff. Mrs. Day is digging at the marble back here that was previously unreachable. Which we probably don't need to do yet, but oh well. Golden Fishy is trying their best to sweep up all the rock debris. We got another harvest of herbals. Which is good. I'm going to forbid sewing on the other side, though, because we do need more food. A lot of people just walking around. We're still researching? There really can't be that much left to research. Craspoo is incapacitated with finally a flu immunity, muscle parasites, and sensory mechanites. Awful. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Just get with it for like a day. Can we go one day? Listen. We need one of those, uh, work danger zone, like, calendars. It says it's been this many days since the last mental break, and it's going to continuously be zero. Maybe, maybe we need some funk. Part of the problem is we're, um, allowing... Here's what we're going to do. Let's change these bills. 
Take the best stockpile? Nope, let somebody else handle that. Say drop on floor. Then let's um, forbid marble. Actually, we're just going to delete this entire stockpile. I'm going to copy it and temporarily put it like over here. We're going to copy the settings, paste them over, and then just delete the stockpile. I think that's causing us a lot of problems. Negative days since the last mental break. Uh, they're doing their best, though. They're doing their best. We gotta stay positive. I mean, look at this. Possible progress here. They're really doing their best. Muffalo 5 has miscarried due to starvation. Okay, so that's clearly an issue. Chat, where's the food? Uh-oh. Wildlife? Meals? Uh-oh, this kind of snuck up on us. Too many animals, chat. There's just too many animals. Uh, there's just too many. The potatoes are almost grown. That's just around the clock potato growth. The corn is not that far behind. And we have 50 heel root. I'm just going to take the <sighs> I Feel like we can make it once we get the potatoes and the corn harvest. How close to starvation are they? Moderate! Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna have to make a we're gonna make a call here. I'm gonna allow the animals to graze on the freshly planted heel roots. See if they can get in there. Do I have to create a path up there? I think they can skip the forbidden zone to get to the not forbidden zone. Pretty sure. But you're all of them. <laughs> well, they might just all die of starvation. Don't worry, guys. We got nine potatoes. <laughs> We're saved. <laughs> it lacks important information about minimum growth to be grazed on. That may be true. But we'll have potatoes tomorrow anyway. All they gotta do is live till then. <laughs> you just gonna sleep outside? Get in your bed! Deep breath. I feel like I'm constantly on the edge of my own mental snap. I want them all to succeed. They've got beds with rocks in them. No one is in a barracks anymore. In fact, chat.
In fact, chat, the barracks is being deconstructed. Miss Lissa Day is picking out on food. This is the worst possible time that you could pick out on food. <laughs> uh, um, oh, we just got a herd of buffalo on the map. All right, team. We're basically out of food. It's all up to you. To heal the animals. Stallion one is dead. <laughs> That's okay. We barely knew you anyways. We kind of just randomly tamed you today. Uh, golden fishy? Why is, why is golden fishy always incapacitated? I swear. Uh, Booberry is not cooking. Why? Go butcher! What are you doing? There's 34 meat there too. Don't eat that, Miss Lissa Day. Come on! Can somebody haul those potatoes over here? All right, there's four meals. Cannot butcher need material. Why can't? How much does it take to make kibble? Did we suspend kibble? No. Maybe- Oh, I forbid regular meat. I only allowed, uh... Insect meat. I see, that makes sense. Though we didn't have potatoes till now. There. They're coming. Kibble exists. Also, could some people, like, haul the potatoes, please, so that the cook doesn't have to go across the world? Why are you doing this? Okay, now you can prioritize cooking. Hey, someone's doing it. Also, did you guys do the hunting good? I got, I see two more buffalo coming in. Let's hunt two more tomorrow, lads. Good job, good job. They're getting it done. We struck more compacted steel. What about regular? What about regular steel? No, not on the table yet. Okay, we're doing the balancing act. Whoop, hiding in room due to being hungry. Why am I not surprised, but also why is that totally your fault? We should harvest the corn tomorrow or the beginning of the next day. Potatoes have been replanted. We still got 600 roughly. Uh, and then we're gonna change over the next heel root back to corn. If we get enough heel root, I might do the whole thing to, to be corn. Simultaneous. We got another fresh bedroom over here. Now here's the trick. They're having to walk really far to go from their bedrooms back to the old colony. That's why we need to start getting the production room set up locally over here to live here. And then we can tear all this down. But we're pretty close to finishing the basic bedrooms first. Like, it's getting real close. Spring has begun. We've made it through another dangerous winter. Uh, no one is ill except for Mechanites. Let's see how much illness is left. Uh, sensory in Mislissidae. Sensory in Burgled. 
Sensory in Serbuberry. Muscle Parasites in Kivo. Sensory and Muscle in Craspu. They lost one. One Mechanite gone. Muscle Parasites in Intable. And those are the people who are the most upset. Oh yeah, I don't have anywhere to store steel. Uh, anymore. I'm just gonna have it be normal and steel is under raw resources. There we go. All right, just make sure there's somewhere for it to go directly from the smelter. <laughs> this really is like the never ending job. Uh, someone's always here every single day, cutting up marble chunks. These guys are always in here digging away. The fun never stops. There you go. There is still much, uh -oh. much more to go. A muffalo is attacking after being harmed. There we go. Handled. Actually, while you're here, Burgled, you may as well get another muffalo for us if you don't mind. LMG hunting, little spray and pray. Accidentally hitting the other one who's in front of him. Are you done? We gotta get him a It has been zero days since the last mental break. The fun never stops. I'm, should we just have every single bed on the same side? I guess we, yeah, we do. I already decided that. For better or worse. Okay, lights go towards the door on the opposite side. And then by the bed on that side, it has been zero days. Anima Scream. You guys are still thinking about the Anima Scream? How much longer? I've been insulted directly. What an awful person. Sir Booberry compared Golden Fishy to a grouse, called the Golden Fishy's mother a bandit, and insulted Golden Fishy's weights. Now the two shall fight. Uh, Golden Fishy has the distinct advantage of fighting somebody who's currently riddled with sensory mechanites. Let's see who wins. Golden Fishy bleeding from a bite in the right leg. Golden Fishy has uh, destroyed the competition and will now go for getting to get patched. The hospital is at least functional right now, if not perfect. <laughs> oh my god. It's like it's on, it's on average like three or four a day. Take a shot every time we mental break. Uh, time to go, time to go get the drinks. Looks like it's time. I love that both of the cooks are the ones that fought. There's definitely gotta be 
some kind of history there. There's got to be like a dish competition issue. Randy. Not now, Randy. You really going to try and kill the crops with a solar flare right when I'm at 94% grown? I'm going to let Burgled out, and I'm going to try locking the steel door for insulation. Do you guys think I should go for an emergency harvest, or do you think it'll pass in time for the heaters to come back on? It's already at freezing in this room. Almost freezing here. Why is it always at night, too? They don't start dying until, like, under 30. Shouldn't have let you go in. Uh, I don't know the exact damage number. Because they haven't taken any damage yet. Minus 10C is the death point. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Talk to me in a... Oh, I guess it's that much. There is no... They don't lose health. Who said that in chat? Got baited by Jeff. Absolutely baited. Well, <sighs> Randy, you bastard. I don't have enough wood for this. <sighs> okay, who's plant cutting? Ushikun. This is so dumb. Hang on. All right, just remember this. Ushikun. Nom nom. Karathius end table. Ushikun nom nom Karathius end table. Ushikun nom nom. Micromanagement. Nom Nom is not going to be with us. Uh, Ushikun Karathius. I don't even think we're going to make it there in time. <laughs> <laughs> this is all Narflax's fault! <sighs> I was looking at the HP. I'm gonna need a drink for this. <sighs> Randy, you piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> here's the heat, by the way. It's back. <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to steal all of your crops. And, uh, here, here you go. Well, I guess we're gonna be eating rice for the foreseeable future in here. At least some of the heel root died. This is the gift sub south. Trial. 
Time to go hunt some caribou. We saved 374 and we have about this 300 potatoes. Subset. Make sure I don't forget to put their schedules back to normal. A group of sheep abandoned or lost have joined the colony. Why? We could get wool, but we could also just eat them. How about we just eat them instead? Who's better, chat? Yaks or sheep? Which eat what about eat both? The only thing is they the yaks do have milk? Do the is it, do we have sheep milk? Is that a thing? They do wool? No no milk. The yaks give milk. I think eat the sheep. Wool's cool, I guess. But uh I'm pretty sure we already get that. What kind of wool do you get? Do you just get yak wool, or is it like a non- It's plain- It's plain leather from killing them. Wool is warmer? Well, we have blue fur already. I don't know how blue fur compares to wool. Ugh. I don't know. I'm overwhelmed by the sheer number- of things that are happening. We got muffalo. Now we got sheep. Just kill the sheep. I am overwhelmed by the number of things that are going wrong. And then this jam comes on. I'm gonna need to stand up, stretch, grab a drink. <laughs> it's very stressful RimWorld today. They're doing their best. But, man. I can't, I've, I've never thought 16 colonists would be so difficult just because of the sheer micromanagement. I thought it was gonna be easier because they all take care of everything. But even with 16 colonists, we don't even have a full-time, like, cleaner. Because the people that can research who are idle all the time refuse to do any dumb labor. Those are the natural cleaners. Everyone else is useful. Kaibo has made a marble double bed of masterwork quality called III9M. An engraving on this furniture illustrates a cottonwood tree. The Dedea style clashes with the unoriginal depiction of the backgrounds. Unoriginal. Kaibo is on a roll. Masterwork end table. Kaibo, mood? Why don't you- why, why did you not eat? Why are you malnourished? Are we out of meals? Oh my god. Because both of the idiot cooks! Had a fist fight! Now everyone is starting to- oh, everyone's malnourished! You dumbasses! St you're making kibble! No, 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 okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Suspend, drop that shit. Nobody's hauling the food. God. I even have like four hauling animals. It's just too much to haul.
I'm leaving this door open for a sec. Kaimo! Come on! Yeah! I ain't drink. I, 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 Shut up. We'll play the song right now. This is the sub sound.
Okay, I've calmed down. The word, here's why this is so frustrating, because if I have just Peachy fight back, just Peachy will stab Kaibo possibly to death. Even if just Peachy puts down their spear and fights, Kaibo is currently on full-time build duty, so it's going to incapacitate you for a few days. While we heal you from getting beat down. Okay. We should just be grateful you don't have a sword. Also a big waste of medicine. Kaibo is in extreme pain. Not surprisingly. And it's being rescued as we speak. By the way, uh, thanks for the subs. Recent subs. Old subs. Oh my, I can't. Okay, let's only let's do subs while we're paused. Let's just chill. Food is being put out on the table. Okay, let's just let's just <laughs> hang tight for a sec. Uh, I missed a whole bunch of subs from uh, up to an hour ago. Death Guard Frank is out there somewhere for two years. I actually might have got you, but thank you, Death Guard Frank. If I missed you, welcome back. Thanks for two whole years of sub. Ushikun is in the house with nine months. Hey, Ushikun. Mallory XO gifted a sub to Kalmar Onion. Enjoy your sub, Kalmar, and thank you, Mallory, for the generous gift. This is the gift sub set. Trial. December Mist gifted a sub to Robotus. Hello, Robo. Welcome for their first 30 days in the house, courtesy of December Mist. Some of that gifted a sub to Ashley Lang for three months. If you're out there somewhere, hi, Ashley. Thank you, some of that, for the gift sub. Keith Love also is back for a year and a half. Says, now it's Rum World. Now it is. I got, I got, it's not rum, though. I got a drink and a, and a snack bar. Seacolb says, look at that base. Holy moly. Yeah, it's too big. Look at his wealth. Woo! Woo, too much wealth. Is it scotch? It is not scotch either. It is uh, bourbon, I think. Bourbon? Hawishka. All right, everyone's starving. We're working on it now. Dallas X923 has also gifted a sub to Artorius. This is the gift sub sound. Trial. Hello, Artorius, who's here for the first, uh, first th three months, the third month. Golden Fishy's going as fast as Golden Fishy can. Oh no! You're missing an arm, aren't you? I was wondering why you were only able to haul so much. That makes a lot more sense. I knew your arm was gone, but I forgot about the hauling debuff.
Does it also make them cook slower? Probably. All right, everyone who's starving. I mean, there's some meals in here. The problem is they eat one, steal one. So it's actually like every colonist needs two meals. How did you get a food poisoning from incompetent cook? Hold on, where's the other cook? Booberry, that's not what I told. Everyone's getting it. Why do you have to this corn right there? Oh my god. You know. No. Randy, let me out. I can't escape this fate. <laughs> No one can help you, do you understand? No one. I'm not going to... Who's eating this? Oh my god. We're having some internal difficulties and strife here. Stop. We... He's eating it faster than we can cook it. That's for other people who are starving. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's gonna get everybody sick. Okay. What do I do? Here's what we need to do. I think it's finally time. There's not a good- there's not gonna be a good time to do this. Uh, what do we have the most stones? We have a bunch of slate. And I think that's it. A bunch of slate, teeny bit of limestone. I'm just gonna make everything out of marble. Oh, there's no marble. There is no- there is no marble. Because we're using it all. Okay, well, never mind. Now's not the time. The kitchen is just too far away from everything. Great. Ushikun. Okay, I guess we're gonna have Owen fill in. Backup, cook to the backup. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Owen, they need more food. They're still starving. I'm not asking for much. I'll even let you eat afterwards. Just gotta make it first, okay? They're reserving these meals from across the entire colony. There you go. Inspired surgery! Oh, maybe it's bionic spine time.
bionic spine and someone with dementia and so many other problems seems like a waste though. Owen can't literally can't cook fast enough for these idiots. <sighs> not even I'm not even surprised anymore. Just Peachy is the latest colonist to give up on the colony and has decided to pursue a better life elsewhere. You can try to arrest him as he leaves, otherwise you may still see him again one day. Okay, so Kiva Wallow only has a seven medical skill. So does their surgery success chance with the inspiration is 44% reflected by the inspiration, her chance of success will be doubled. A small minimum chance of failure still applies. So is that 48% times two? If so, then probably just do it. We have a, wait, we have 130, no, we have 130% uh, speed, 135%, we have 100% surgery success chance already in Toxmo. So why not just do that? The reason I'm not gonna, the reason I've put it off this long is because we only have one good quality medicine left. And I would want to use that for the surgery. And I like having a backup medicine for a dangerous infection. So I guess, never mind. Forget I said anything. We could just do it with heal root, I guess, but that's just not very safe. That's just bad practice. Classic. Okay, the colony is no longer starving, at least. Let's have at least one extra meal for everybody. Burgled is in a daze due to being... Oh, who is this? Nom Nom? Oops, sorry, Nom Nom. That's my bad. You had a good mood and I ruined it. Anywho, how are we doing over here? I see that you guys are almost done. I just need you to get out of the hospital. <laughs> Half the colony is currently hospitalized. I didn't think I would need this many beds. <laughs> oh my. Anyways. We're still just doing our best. Chat. Cheers to doing your best! Take another drink if it's not good enough. If your best just ain't good enough. Thanks again, Seacold, for the gift sub to TPC, who's here for the first month ever. Thanks, Seacold. Much appreciated, dude. What are you drinking tonight? Bourbon. It's a little bourbon. It's, uh, I've had it on the shelf for a while. I got it, it was like a discounted like 33% off. I think it's like 1792 or something. It's actually not bad. It's pretty good. A beautiful aurora is lighting up the sky. The undulating colors will boost the mood of anyone outside to see them and make the night brighter. Kawatobi, I'm sorry, you can't have any. We don't have any for the colony. How hard is naked brutality? Well, I mean, it's called naked brutality, Jex. I think you can infer how hard it is. It's arguably the hardest. I don't think it gets harder than starting with nothing, no clothes, on, uh, losing is fun. It's, it's, I think that's just as hard as it gets. One day we'll try Naked Brutality, but not until we've actually beaten this. Naked Brutality could be its own separate challenge. 
Winning on losing is fun is hard enough right now for us. And just stabilizing, actually. Okay, so Golden Fishy is still incapacitated. Boo Berry is up and at him, though, so we can turn Owen's cooking down. So we can focus on other things. We're so close to these final bedroom pockets being opened. And then a lot of good things are coming our way. We got people around the clock cutting up marble. Let's see what everyone's up to. Hauling potatoes, good. We're getting the heel root harvest that we wanted. Uh, we're gonna change this into corn. This, I didn't really mean for Miss Lissaday to be able to mine uh, back in here, but now that you're here, I'm just gonna let you do it, I guess. I'm up! Wonder how much mood boost pawns get from having nice rooms? Well, they get plus five for spacious interior. This room is so expansive, I feel free. I've been comfortable recently, plus four, among others. But we already got those in most of these guys. I'm not sure if that was some backhanded, <laughs> backhanded uh, question, but I'm already ahead of the game. These rooms don't look that comfortable, but Turns out that good and excellent and masterwork quality beds are pretty cozy. Overflow stockpile. I am so ready to move everything over into a more permanent location. Okay, let's... Nope, don't do anything else. Just let them do what they're already doing. If you have to do anything, then let them re-equip their weapons. If they're healed. Okay, Booberry, you got an 8 in melee. I think you had a steel spear. Crassboo is incapacitated. End table. You have a 5. I think you had a mace. I don't see a mace anymore. I see another spear. I don't know if this is the same one I told someone to equip just now, though. No, it's not. Different one. Don't do it. Don't do it, in table. I know you're thinking about it. You got your own room, okay? You're gonna be nice and comfortable in there. I think we're probably just gonna do back-to-back -back rice. Just to be certain that we got what we need. Maybe hunt some Ibex. Timberwolf's on the map, too. They're all clustered in this top right corner. Where were the other ones that I just saw? Oh. Right there. Never heard the royalty tunes before. Uh, we have royalty tunes plus the P music tunes. They're all extremely good. So it's a mix... It's a little bit of a mixed bag here, but not in, like, the... When I say mixed bag, I mean not in quality terms, in point of origin. We got unowned beds here. We could move somebody else over. Okay, we need to start planning. Mega sloth migration. That wouldn't be bad to just hunt those three Mega Sloths, to be honest. It's a little tough with our limited uh, guns. Without Kaibo, Golden Fishy. We could bring a couple Meleers and hope that we don't need them, I guess. Just as backup.
One is a baby, which will be easier. Why'd you say that so? Eat El Psycho. Uh, are we gonna get there fast enough? One is a baby. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Flaming Camel, open it up. Put Ushakun in the back. Sorry, Mega Sloths. Sorry to kill your parents like this. We make that as quick as possible on ya. All right, sorry. I had to. I had to murder the family of Megas Loss. It was worth it. Get some people to haul that in. Whew. Okay. All right. Anyways, back to thinking about possibly planning. So here's kind of the issue that we're running into right now. We have so many plans. <laughs> no time to do them. <laughs> A group of mechanoids from the Artof Mech Hive have arrived in transport pods. Their pods went haywire and are landing scattered all over the area. Okay. Apparently Ram 1 was allowed to live. Uh, God. I don't even know where they're gonna land. All over the area. Our base is so big, they could very well land inside our base. Would not be surprising. All right, Kaibo, while you're in the room, could you? Where's your gun? Is it still all the way over there? Yeah. All right, Kaibo, take what's on hands. Chain shotgun. Actually, that's golden fishies. You can just take the pump. No, I'll give that to you and golden fishy can have the pump. What I hate about the drop pods is it doesn't tell you where they are. And there could be more. And the base is so- we're so scattered all over the base, it's hard to get people to respond to this. Did you guys pick up the weapon? Nope. Big. All right, where's where are the other bad boys? Two up there, one down there. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't look like anybody landed in the middle. So here's the plan. We're gonna have Toxmo and in table basically just go stab that guy. Well, flaming camel helps. Let's get Carathius Kivo. And friends out here. Okay, Toxmo uh, has been bruised in the arm a couple times. 
I'm gonna send Golden Fishy real close to get some good shotgun shots. I'm gonna move Flaming Camel up so that we don't get any friendly fire. Because, uh... Anyways, good, good job, everybody. Uh, in table. Getting some good stabs in, I think. Okay, never mind. Toxmo's down. I'm sure this is fine. What the... why? Okay, Mad Ibex Ram? Sure. There was another guy coming. Chat, there's another guy coming! Come on, Kaibo! Uh-oh. 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 Deep breath, deep, deep, deep breath, deep breath. Come on. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! I should have let Golden Fishy stay in <laughs> Everybody! Two melee couldn't take down a centipede. Centipedes suck at melee! They're, they're, they're supposed to be terrible at melee. What happens? This is not how it's supposed to go. Kaibo, you're basically next. I wish you the best of luck. You didn't, you, he deflected two shots. Well, lucky for you, he's taking aim at other people for some reason. Finish it, Kaibo! Thank you! Oh my god, you guys! Kiva! Oh! Oh! There's more coming! There's so many more! Why are you guys so bad at this three melee versus a single centipede and we're losing? I honestly didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Alright, who can walk who's not currently on the way to rescue somebody? Kaibo's actually not bleeding. We got another guy coming in with an Inferno Cannon, so it's about to get really ugly. So I don't know what to do. I didn't expect this many people to go down. Actually in no immediate danger, they're just in pain. Golden Fishy and Flaming Camel are the only ones... ...who are really, really in trouble. We'll see where everyone's at. I'm gonna send those two up around that way. Donkey 2! <laughs> donkey 2, save us! Come on, Donkey! This is the real spooky one. No, no, we're on fire. Uh oh.
this spiraled out of control very quickly. Um, I wouldn't recommend taking that particular route given the circumstances. Jesus. All right, uh, who's coming next? Kaibo? Put your fire out, Kaibo. Okay. That's fine too. You guys are about to get blasted. Unbelievable. for a second man in black. Just kidding. Put your own fire out, Burgled. Okay, good news is that Carathius is not on fire. It's really hard to micro all this. There's just so many colonists. going for us. Now, here's what we need to do. We need to go make a rescue op up here. It's really hard to do that. Because basically being camped. Um, <clears throat> so, there are really only two people that need need to be rescued. We can 23, 23 hours is not that bad. Five hours is pretty bad. So, what I need is for Owen to make a distraction. Lure them away. Well, you two get ready to boogie. Okay? That's all we gotta do. We're gonna leave that door open for you. Owen is gonna create a lovely distraction here. Back it up. I have had so many problems with this since the game's inception, dude. The wanted curved bullets where they follow you away as you're walking. There's no line of sight to these two tiles, but they can still be hit there. And it drives me absolutely insane. This happened for years. I think it's just Hitman style where, here's what I think happens. I, it's just a guess. My guess is that the shots all took place while you were standing here. So they follow you because that's when they were fired. Or when the attack was queued up or something. When you move, I think it just gives the later shots a bonus to accuracy because you're no longer in cover. I, it only, they only get hit when they move. So, even though it, I think it tracks cover per bullet, it doesn't track, yeah, whatever. It's really annoying though. I don't know if we have enough time to get these guys. Maybe they'll just chase Owen around the side. One went for him, the, uh, the Inferno Cannon went the other way. What if we forbid this door? Make them go left. I need another person. Booberry's on the ground. Damn, this sucks. 
This is this is real shitty. Who is able to do anything? Wait, why? No, I want you to go. You try it. That's the way I want you to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carathius is still out there bleeding to death in six hours, but this is a sticky situation by all accounts. I'm gonna let Ushikun go think about a rescue op. And we need to get some doctors in here. Problem is the doctors are all incapacitated. <laughs> uh, how hurt are you, Burgled? How about Ushikun stays and heals the person dying the this fastest? Is the gift sub so. trial. Well, Nom Nom goes to make the rescue attempt. God, they're chasing. They are chasing, dude. And they're that means they're camping Carathius's body. Okay, door is shut. This is ugly. Alright, whoop it we need to. Owen into one of these beds. I know there's a medical emergency. One of you may die! But there's nothing I can do about it right now. All we have to do is pray that nobody gets up. If they get up, it's over. Or if Miss Lizardy goes outside. And that's gonna cause even more problems. How long do you have, Carathius? Five hours. Oh, boy. Okay, that's an interesting development. Miss Lissade is just wandering outside now. And there's basically nothing we can do about it. Rest until healed. Uh, Burgled is not bleeding, but has burns. So here's what you do, Burgled. Because you can, Doctor. We're going to take you up on that. Who was the other person just doing some doctoring? It was Ushikun. Ushikun! Everybody get in, the, in your cozy beds. Or I will kill you myself. Okay? Everyone just stay in your damn beds. Missiles a day, you really did this to you. Death Missiles a day is going to actually die. And there's nothing I can do about it. You just wandered outside in a psychotic daze. Rest in peace. We could probably handle the rest of this, but not that. Uh, 
Okay, Ushikun. Do your best to stop Golden Fishy from dying. Where's the other one? Chat, who's the other person dying immediately? Besides Miss Lissa Day. Golden Fishy's gonna die in one hour. Who's the other person? 0.8 hours on Flaming Camel? Oh, it's worse than I thought. Uh, Karathes is gonna die in four hours. Booberry is not gonna die yet. Damn, I can't believe six centipedes caused this. I don't think Burgle's gonna be able to patch you up fast enough, uh, Flaming Camel, with only 0.9 hours. Uh, Monka, 0.7 hours. Six, five, four, point eight. <laughs> okay, hang on, who's next? Who's dying next? Besides Miss, Miss Lizaday's like super dead, and like I said, there's not nothing we can do about that. Um, Miss Lizaday's like mega dead. No one's even on the east side of the colony because of what's been happening. Karathius is dead in three hours. I know she's outside the allowed area, you dingus. I'm giving you a direct order to go outside of that zone, okay? We just need to slow down. Slow down. Nom nom, go rescue Miss Lissade. Nom Nom is not capable of healing, right? No, I mean, you technically are, but it's pretty bad. Not fast enough. <sighs> okay, let's focus on the people who are dying in here first. We can go grab, someone else can grab Karathias from outside. Crasp is too slow. Just Peachy, you take Karathias. Can we rescue Flaming Camel? Alright, Flaming Camel lives. One down. This damn music of hope! There is hope! Even though they're camping Miss Lissaday's body. Where are they going? Why are they, who are they attacking? Miss Lissaday, they're le legit camping your body, dude. Where does Shikun go? Feeding fine meal. Okay, hold on. Who's bleeding? Bleeding first, burn second is the plan. Going for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! 
Okay, let's relax for a second. Let's just scroll over. Missile City's dead in one hour. I don't think we're gonna be able to stop you. Nom Nom's the only, your only hope, and I don't think it's a good hope. Toxmo has now 18 hours. Carathius has one hour. Likely dead as well. I think it's Miss Lizard Day and Carathias are gonna die. Then we have to make a rescue attempt at the top, the other people. Okay, we got one hour back. I don't know if it's worth even going for medicine. I wonder if we just patch you over. Is it faster to use heal root or just more quality? Because like even the simple run there and back could be too long. I'll let him do it. Okay, we got two hours back on Miss Lissa Day with no medicine. There's literally not an option. Let's just go quick pause, check through all the colonists, see what they're doing. I can't believe he left. Make sure no one's just outside unless they're dying, which we know. We might, honestly, I don't know, we might be able to sneak out there and rescue one of these two with Ushikun. Oh, Toxmo, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you stupid idiots. Oh, Toxmo's now dead in five hours. How do, is the angle shit? This corner should have blocked us. Look at, draw, let chat. I want you to draw a straight line from this guy to where he's down, okay? There is no, there is no line of sight. Solve one problem, create more. Okay, Carathius is alive. Burgle's got burns and shit and they need to be patched. What do I do? How, do? how am I gonna rescue three people now bleeding out? There's no way. Someone's gonna have a mental break. There's the first of many infections from the untreated burns. I hate this. This is making my stomach turn. I can't, this this was not that bad of a of an event and it just totally got away from me. I think I underestimated. I, I really thought centipedes were less effective against melee than they apparently are. Like, we had 3v1 and a 2v1 with gun support and still got totally shredded.
Okay, so let's just let's just take it slow. Take just take it slow. I'm gonna get Nom Nom to go out towards this direction. Okay. I'm gonna have Owen treated next. I'm also gonna grab just Peachy. Why is Yak 2 outside right now? That's not even one of the zones. Yak 2. Okay, I'm gonna make a play for Toxmo. They do be breaking the electric smelter though. Okay, can Flaming Camel walk? Damn. Nom's probably gonna get away with at least the person who's gonna die the fastest. God, the infect the infections are gonna make this unbearable. today <laughs> you may have a problem in a minute <laughs> there may be a very large problem momentarily who's dying next out here 12 hours and ooh, six hours spicy just peachy's gonna get caught dude mark my words oh god they can see her! They can see it! She's peachy! <laughs> Just peachy has been shot to death. You got brained. After all of that, you got a char one rogue charge blast straight through the skull. Rest in peace. <sighs> Too bad. Too bad. It's a good colonist too. Really good colonist. Okay. Okay. How are we gonna how are we gonna rescue Ushikun? We got him that much closer to the door. I'm gonna send Nam Nam back up. Toxmo's dead in one hour. We might be able to stop it. I'm to three hours. <sighs> okay. You can make it, Nom Nom. Burgled has collapsed due to exhaustion after helping Toxmo not bleed to death. Okay. 
We'll carry it. We'll do it. We'll take care of it from here, I guess. Just kidding. Nobody has any doctor skill. Who did we just rescue? cannot walk. Kaibo, can you walk? Hold I don't know. <laughs> I'm so flustered. I'm so flustered. Uh, I'm stuck between do we take the medicine all the way up to Booberry? Or do we move Booberry? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think we just take the medicine. I don't know. You gotta be. It's over. Jesus! A mechanoid combat cluster is landing nearby. The cluster will be initially dormant, so you can take time to decide how to attack it. It may remain dormant until disturbed, or it may have a timer or proximity activators. Dude, we haven't even finished dealing with the mechs who are on the map yet. <laughs> it's. The, why couldn't it be why couldn't it be a human raid? If it was a human raid, at least they would fight the mechs on the map. What even is this? I don't know what a mech capsule is. A mechanoid storage and deployment capsule. It could contain a number of mechanoids <laughs> ready to emerge and fight upon being awakened. Auto mortar can fire in 120 seconds. Is it active? Isn't this supposed to be dormant? Why isn't it dormant? Well, I think, uh, I think, is that GG chat? Randy's going for the throat. <sighs> I'm a little disheartened right now. I'm a little disheartened. If the auto... Like, because the activators aren't going to be active for three days, like four days. But if the auto motor is active immediately, then it's kind of, it's kind of shitty. to do. Where are the doctors? Where are the backup doctors? Burgled is so sleepy, I know. Uh, who's in bed who's currently dying? I'm gonna have Burgled tend to you. Why are you not getting the medicine? Everyone is full of holes. Yeah, they are indeed. I, I'm honestly just having trouble keeping track of who needs what. Alright, 
Nom Nom, could you try and rescue in table? Well, that's not good. Our doctor got an infection. He got double infection? Shikun's got an infection. We got a 0% quality tin. That's impressive. I knew that the 16 colonists were going to be the death of me. It's just hard to keep track of who's doing what, when, why, where. Why are you treating the infection last? This is truly the haunted mega base. And the power just went out. like that sound. Miss Lizade is also sick from infection. <laughs> Monka S. <laughs> Jesus. Where did that even hit? Zero percent tend on the infection because the lights went out. Nice. Nice, guys. Well done. Chat, where's the in stream button? on the map. I just misplayed the centipedes, and I, I didn't realize how bad the misplay was, and it just kept getting worse. I think I've got a save scum, but I feel guilty and bad doing it. Because it's such a large, large, big save scum. Starting over right now wouldn't be fun. I wouldn't enjoy a new game. I'd be mad. And I'd say let's just play it out, but it's unwinnable with the mortar. If if the mortar wasn't there, I'd I'd be happy to play it out. But this is just gonna it's just gonna kill us. I'll play a little bit longer on this before I reload. I have no idea uh, when the last saves are. We need to populate the save file anyways. Here's what we need to do. We need to make a save here. We need to reload auto saves and find out where that is. War of the Worlds gives us up to Gustav Goldman at some point. Thanks for the gift so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> so today I learned that, I guess, mechanoid mortars start awakened on the map. It's a good, good lesson learned. So you make a save here, so you can come back to this and play it out. And then we go back in time to the oldest autosave and see where it is.
and then we make a save there so that we can d have the best of both worlds where we can return back to the where we just were finish playing that out then save scum uh i don't even okay so the earliest one is before the first raid even happens i think what about auto save three ten eleven minutes later let's check that one out We will see. Uh, this one is... I don't know. People are... There are some people here, so not that one either. This one is 20 minutes after that. I personally think you can pull the crisis back. I don't think you're considering the fact that there is a auto mortar that is shooting us every minute and a half, uh, which we literally cannot attack. So it will be shooting mortars at us in perpetuity forever. All it has to do is land one shot in the hospital and everyone's dead. If it was asleep for four days, then I would agree that it's probably doable. So we got kind of a issue here, I guess. Well, actually, I'm not sure what's going on. Why are people injured in this timeline? <laughs> what, what, what happened in this timeline? Why is there... Is it, there's nobody here? And they're all still sick? Okay, let's try... What are we on? Auto save 5? <laughs> Can't hit under mountain areas. Okay. So it's just going to shoot and blow up the entire rest of our base. And we still can't ever attack them because there's still roaming centipedes on the map that we can't deal with. All right. Oh, well, yeah. That, when you put it like that, that makes things a lot easier. Where? When did the mechanoids, did they even attack? I, I, I guess not a lot of time passed because um, we were playing pause forever. Ooh, okay. Um, dude, I would love a muffin right now. I want a muffin. Okay, so in this, in the last autosave was, <laughs> we're flashing back to this first centipede issue. Oh no. Okay, well let's make a save. Let's make a save here. Centipede problems start right there make a manual save and then we'll load to the one before that i don't have any muffins that's the problem arborax i want muffins but i don't have any i want cookies but i don't have any well this certainly did not take the right the turn that i thought i was going to okay and this is chorf pre Mech total defeat. I'm gonna actually do before. All right, let's go back to no hope and finish that timeline out. I was just creating the potential for save scums if I need to. What is chorf? Your chorf, Tomics. Now you are. <laughs> we are. We are chorf. All right, let's see where this goes, I guess. Um, the infections are unbelievably bad. Nobody is up that can doctor anything. Whoop has a pretty nasty infection themselves. There's going to be at least two or three people that die... Just to infections, to be honest. Is there anybody left to rescue in this timeline? The only death that I know of so far, confirmed death, is just Peachy. Nobody can walk. 
<laughs> uh, so in that case... This is the gift sub sound. Trial. Is there anyone else that needs rescuing outside? Quote, un quote unquote rescuing. <laughs> I can't keep track of who needs what. Okay, Miss Lissaday needs healing, yes. This is the gift sub sound. Trial. And they're not gonna get any of it. When's this thing shoot again? Oh, in seven seconds. Let's see how it goes. Aiming. Bye, potatoes. Uh, they're also breaking into the freezer, which is pretty fun. Why is there no power? Oh, they must have blown it up or something. Yeah, they blew it up. So we're gonna darkness tend. Classic. Uh, Whoop, of course, needs their own treatment and doesn't have it, so I'm going to have Whoop go rest in the bed. Burgle passed out before they could actually do anything for Miss Lissaday. This is the sub sound. <sighs> Owen can't perform medical. The, the infections are going to be what really does do us in here. I'm really, I'm just so disappointed. I am so disappointed. This timeline is doomed. I'm just gonna call it. Let's, uh, let's just undo. I wanna go to problem start and see if we can handle this differently. Because at least if we can handle it differently than this version of events, this, the stupid secondary mechanoid raid doesn't exist. Coach just needs to make a play. And this is my making a play. That was gonna be a colony wipe, guaranteed. This is the sub sound. Uh, it was going to be slow and insidious. They were just going to starve. They were going to starve to death, and it was going to end up a colony wipe. Chat, I haven't saved Scummed in over two streams. I have earned this. I have banked this. We've already gone down <laughs> to man in black and pulled it back, legit. All right, uh, let me just see if I can handle this centipede. First of all, I didn't even get a chance to handle it better because Toxmo is already on the ground in this version of events. So let me see where everyone's at. So what I'm gonna do different, because we still have problems. I, this time I'm not gonna underestimate the, the melee prowess. I really thought three melee was like enough to handle a centipede. is still good, don't get me wrong. Because that then they can't spray and pray with the heavy charge blaster. So 
Nice. Or Booberry's in there. Kaibo's getting some shots off. Oh, they've got another guy. Okay, so this is the difference in this time and last time. <laughs> okay, I forgot there was another guy there. <laughs> Timelines have, uh, have converged differently this time. <laughs> it's starting again. Kaibo was already very, very, very hurt, to be fair. You final destination bastard. You can't just brain the first person that you shoot in the next attempt. God damn it. <laughs> Randy gets his dues. I guess he does. That's so stupid. Chat, my heart has been shot by the game right now. <sighs> Me and RimWorld are having a fight. My, I don't have any spirit. But I also don't want to turn off the stream. so frustrated. I hate save scumming. I hate it. But I also don't want to start over from scratch. It's been like four streams. Colony wiping a 16 person colony on four centipedes is just some dumb assery. My wish is that I could get back to the centipede attack, but start it differently. That's all I want to do. But there's no autosave in that window, unfortunately, so I don't know what to do. Because if I, if I load back to the one that we just loaded back into, it's doomed. Because there's only like four people attacking a single centipede. If I load before that, then the centipede threat is gone, which feels too much like cheating. Like, I want to still fight it, and if some people die, then some people die. But also, more people, like, this is, this is the same situation. I don't want to go, I don't want to reload and, like, delete the event. I hate getting put in this situation. I should make more saves. I should save literally every time a dangerous event like this starts, just in case. Even though it's stupid. Accuracy. You got three shots on a 75% cover? This is incredible. This is a day's wandering back outside again.
he shot his own guy <laughs> just to kill Carathias. <sighs> oh, what a shot. The centipede shot from here and the bullet landed here. No one knows how, but it happened nonetheless. Exploding. <laughs> They're catching all of the fire foam poppers as Flaming Camel <laughs> walks by them. We just stay in the room long enough for them to put the fire out. What are you doing? It's not that hard. <sighs> Chat, I'm having a mental break. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pause, because I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do, and I don't mean about this situation, I mean, uh, about this colony. So, let me take Midas out, because when I got a drink, I didn't take Midas out, it's been three hours, he needs to go outside every three hours. So I'm gonna take him out, get some fresh air, think about what I want, and, uh, decide I'll come back, and we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm gonna take him out. Just, just get, get a little, get a little fresh air. I respect the centipedes a lot more than I did before. Let me tell you that much. I just want to be clear. I don't think it's unfair. I don't think it's unfair. I'm mad at myself because I'm, I'm locked in to this timeline where I handled the first centipede so poorly that everything else is cascading out of control. So I'm trying to figure out how to deal with that. I'll be back in about five minutes. Hang tight. Don't despair too hard. Stretch your legs. Don't die gamer death. Do some squats. Back in a few minutes.
Hello. Ugh. Five consecutive subscriptions. Can we come up with a nice pasta to spam for support? I assume you were unsuccessful. Was that the past? <laughs> <laughs> this is the gift sub sound. Trial. Oh, I said I would come back with answers. I don't know if I came back with any answers. <laughs> We're trying. <laughs> hey, so am I. We're in the same boat. I'm, I'm in that awkward middle ground. Where no matter what I come up with, the answer is unsatisfying. Because if I go back in time to before this event even happened, then it'll just be peaceful. Randy won't summon it again. These five centipedes are extra super serious. It's very, it's very serious. I didn't take it nearly seriously enough. This is the sub sound. Which one can you live with? That is a good question. Like, I, here's the thing. I really do want to do the original timeline. I do. It's not that I'm that upset about one or two colonists dying. It's that I genuinely think the whole colony's dead. I think that w that one misplay cascaded into a colony ending event. Why don't we just, I think this would make me the most satisfied, just playing the original timeline out and seeing where it goes, even if it ends in total colony destruction. Because I don't like the I don't like the idea of erasing that event totally and just pretending like it never happened. But I also don't know how to handle it because we got five infections and I don't think there's any hope for any of them. <laughs> so uh, if that's the case, then this is the day Ushikun, Serbu, Kiva Wallow, and Whoop are dead, if not others. If not more. This is just crazy. I've never seen this thing before. Okay, I think we saw it once. We've seen it once before, but it didn't actually shoot, I don't think. So in this timeline, how many roving um, centipedes are left alive? Is it just the one? BRB is up, my bad. My bad. I'm still not back yet, mentally. I only see one red mark. Two, okay, two. There's one there, two. Two, is there a third? Because there's three dead. No, there's two dead. Uh... I guess they're in. Let's 
sort of. If I could, like, honestly, if I just had one melee to try this out, it might actually get somewhere. Missiles, I think we have to just, like, triage. And by triage, I mean we got to choose some people to just not tins. The people with infections are all dead in this timeline. They just are. In this series of events. I wish Polar Bear... How do you get these dudes who are on guard training? If they could guard somebody else, that'd be sick. And then they could attack the centipede for us. But I don't think that that's going to happen without an attack mode. If we had trained them in attack, that would be pretty sick right now. All right, Burgled, I have to leave you here. Even if you die, because we just have to, like, we got to do something to stop this. He's in the base. In table with lamp has died of blood loss in this timeline. I don't even remember you having a, an issue. Oh, we got Ram 1. <laughs> Ram one's in in on it. Whoa, where was that? Did that hit the other side? Where'd that hit? Burgled is down. And Nom Nom's getting flanked but not before taking down the centipede at least. Somebody's, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> because of that, that, that right there. <laughs> Shut the door. It went back in the door. Even from there. <laughs> All right, forbid this door. Will animals abide by your forbidding zones? And both both powers are out. Big infections. Nom Nom has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Everybody's down except for Whoop, who has an infection. Yeah, this is this is the super doomed timeline. Man, destroyed the bed without killing Sir Booberry? Yeah, I don't think there's any way to pull this back. I genuinely don't. I think it's dead in the water. Imagine having your bed collapse under you from a mortar when you are unharmed. <laughs> Randy said I had enough fun, I think. Randy said I was having too much fun. It's either pre-centipede or mid-centipede one. Yeah, those are the currently the only two safe scum options right now. I don't know what I want. Oh, 
Uh... I have to make a call. I can't just sit here and pause and go, uh, the entire stream. I know that I am being rash. But I am a rash individual. In... This is... I hesitate to even say it, because once you say it, it's pretty final. In my heart, when I ask myself deep down what I want, uh, I want to say... This is, this is why it hurts so much. I want to say I lose, delete, and start over. That's what I want to say. I don't like... I don't want to restart... To when um, the mech didn't exist. <laughs> Chat's like, no! <laughs> and the reason is because if this if this didn't happen now, it was going to happen sooner or later. Big problem is that even though we did a great job of getting these bedrooms ready, all the production rooms being on the other side was causing some big strain on the colony. It's just so hard to get a mountain base going now. It's so difficult. The constant darkness debuff, ugliness debuff, undergrounder debuff. I don't know how to compensate for it. <laughs> Murderous rage, whoop, <laughs> going to kill Kaibo. <laughs> I thought you had plot armor, Kaibo. <laughs> You're supposed to have plot armor. <laughs> They have broken into the hospital. Like literally. I'm not I'm not exaggerating. They are they are in the hospital. Like with the mortar. There 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 is literally no way out. And not in like the funny haha -ha way. The only upside is at least nobody spent channel points on getting, uh... Getting more colonists today. Wow. These guys are mean. The number of, like, heart shots and, and brain shots have been, like, kind of mean. Come on, Muffalo 5. Um, I respect your desire Ooh, to try and save the colony. I respect it. But it's unfortunately was not strong enough. <laughs> War is hell. War is hell. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. That's RimWorld, baby. That's RimWorld, baby. I want to see I want to see the actual end results of this. Rest in peace, Muffalo 5. I 
I honestly don't even know who you're shooting right now. <laughs> I feel like even if we handled the centipedes the way that we were supposed to, this probably still would have been a death knell of sorts. Auto turrets, they don't have any walls this time. There's three uh, mini sluggers, an auto inferno, three pikemen, three lancers, and of course the auto border. I think even if we handled uh, the original centipedes correctly. I think it still would have been extremely tough. And there's a capsule that could have even more people in it. Jesus, Randy. If this had happened the rest of the game, you brained another one of my colonists just now? That's a heart and a head, back to back. I know they don't have helmets on right now, and that's part of the problem. I don't know if that would have saved them, but it sure certainly would have hurt them. Mega base is truly cursed. The worst part about RimWorld is not even starting over. It's all the people who didn't watch the VOD and go, Hey, did you start over? What happened? <laughs> I don't know, Dingus. Watch the VOD, baby! I don't know, okay? It went bad! Bad things happened! I didn't do it for fun! <laughs> uh, sensing trouble, a mysterious man in black has arrived. Strick, the zero shooting skill assembler, loves building things with their hands. <laughs> Run saved. Listen, we deserve to see how poor, how bad it gets before we say it's over, okay? We deserve to see how bad it gets. They're destroying our sarcophagi right now. Strick has accidentally triggered the proximity sensor because I wasn't paying attention to uh, where he was. Which is pretty much just par for the course. He did bring five medicine. With him, though, he did bring five minutes. <laughs> Thanks for the help, idiot. Oh my god. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> um. Carathius is dead. Owen's dead. Of course. They haven't figured out they can shoot us while we're in the hospital beds. Polar Bear 1 is dead. Muffalo 4 is dead. Burgold is dead. Now, I didn't I didn't count on... I knew we were going to die. I didn't think we were going to die like this. Toxmo is dead due to malnutrition. Let's just see it through. Let's get some closure. Yak 1 has gone. <laughs> Commands add <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what is that just a clip of what I just said? <laughs> They're exhuming all the graves. <laughs> oh <laughs> Strick Strick is gone. Miss Lissade is gone. Kiva Wallow is gone due to infection and malnutrition. <laughs> Yak 2 is gone. They got a direct hit on the mortar into the kitchen area. <laughs> mm. 
Sir Booberry died to their infection. When it rains, it pours, chat. Let's see. Who's gonna be the last person standing? Craspoo with dementia? Flaming Camel? Flaming Camel is currently fleeing? Ooh. No one saw, no one saw direct hit Hospital Inferno, did they? <laughs> did you have it on your bingo card? Ushikun has died of infection. Let's just, yeah, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't their raging fire in their body. It was definitely infection. Who's still alive? Flaming Camel's burning. Golden Fishy's burning. And Craspu is actually, uh, not burning. That's, oh, their bed is getting attacked though while they're still lying in it. Just sleeping through that, no problem. Golden Fishy complaining about burning. Craspoo's bed was taken literally out from under them. <laughs> yes, Craspoo outliving everyone is not what I would have predicted either. <laughs> What's the temperature in here? It's hot. It's a little toasty. 242 degrees Fahrenheit. No big deal. <laughs> Just initial heat stroke building up. <laughs> Peepo comfy. This is fine. Oh, this is fine. Their bodies are burning, so there's no evidence of them. I heard a, did I hear a gunshot? <laughs> I got cremated. The, the evidence is being erased. Hey, Golden Fishy's dead. Who's left? Flaming Camel's still alive. I didn't know you had spiky hair, Flaming Camel. That's pretty cool. Your hat must have burned off for me to see it. Flaming Camel has also died due to burning to death. Slash malnutrition. Craspoo wins the battle royale. Last person standing. 80 year old Craspoo. <laughs> Soul survivor. <laughs> uh, medical emergency. Extreme heat stroke. Ram 1 is dead. How many animals are still alive? Only Donkey 2? Currently, uh, lying, wiggling in the front door? <laughs> I really didn't think this is how, uh, this was gonna go. Wait, the fire's out, so if the heat cools down, then you might recover from heat stroke. It depends on if this bar goes all the way. Donkey 2 became the target of a timber wolf. Nice little, uh, wild card there. Low psychic drone just to rub salt in the wound. Losing became fun as soon as Italix let go and let it happen. Yes, this was very much a let it happen scenario. And Donkey 2 has been bitten to death. Timberwolf feeding on the remains. Uh, Craspoo, okay, is recovering from heat stroke, but now dying of severe malnutrition. Starving to death extremely slow. The mean aliens just won't kill you. All we can hope is that you don't even know what's happening to you right now. The 
there have been times where we've gone through this, allowed everyone to just expire and started... Oh, there you go. Everyone is dead or gone. The story is over. Perhaps someone else will find a use for the ruins of this place. There have been times where we've just... I don't think mechanoids... Do they ever leave? Do the mechanoids leave? Whoa, fire foam. Like, raiders will leave after a while. I don't think mechanoids do. They won't rest until everything is gone. Randy loved the mechanoids in this particular run. Mortar is gonna glass this whole area. Chat, send a salute to the colony that that tried its best. I can't, in good conscience, save scummed before the mechanoid invasion happened, and I don't think the other save is winnable. So, in my heart, I would rather just reset and start over. Even if it costs us all this time and development, because it would, I would just have more fun. We grew too big too quick, and could have still dealt with that, but we were hanging on by a thread for a while, like in terms of just food and space to live and whatnot. <laughs> Naked brutality time. Uh, that, I mean, that could be fun and challenging in its own way. But this is already hard enough. I want the Mega Base to survive and thrive. But to do that, what I, what I failed to do this time to make the Mega Base valid was we really should have just spent more time on getting some production areas built over here instead of them having to go... They didn't have to go that far. I mean, it was just like less than half the map distance. So it wasn't that bad. But it was tough because anything that we needed on the east side, it was very far away instead of centralized. Yeah, the constant tantrums, but that's just losing its fun difficulty. So what I'll probably do is just try and start extra early tomorrow. We'll try and just get a super early, at least an, at least an hour, like a 3 p.m. start. Get a new run going, answer all the people arrivers, and just do, just do a reset. I'm kind of determined to do Tundra again. Like, I want to win on Tundra. I'm not ready to change the scenery yet, maybe. Are you still going to do losing as fun? Yeah. Because we're getting a lot further each time. Like, significantly further. And it was going mostly okay. The biggest problem this time is... I think it was still the right move with what I had available to do steel everywhere, but then once we ran out of steel and had to strip mine, it became super unreliable. And yeah, we did have some slag, but even if we salvaged all that, it wouldn't have been good enough. What size map was this? I think large, like 300 by 300 or something. I still don't think the barracks was a bad move. It was just really hard to expand. Like, the barracks definitely did not cause the downfall of the colony. It was, uh, the constant diseases. It was just like we had two types of mechanites and like six colonists. And gut worms. And another, like, round of flu. And everybody was just in so much pain. That we had a ton of mental breaks.
But anyways, it was a fun colony. It was a good colony. I like a lot of things. Like, I think, um, as you can tell, the temples for the geothermals have been very successful. Centipedes have had free roam over the map, and they still haven't taken down a single geothermal. I got some ideas that I want to try next time. One of the things is I think it would have not set us back so much if we had this marble, this wall around the power first, because we had to rebuild this about two times. And if we never had to rebuild this, it would have saved us a lot of resources, and I think it would have helped in some very meaningful ways. Would you want to try the mod where they automatically get their weapons after being downed? Probably. I mean, maybe I'll add one or two, but I'm not going to add much. Anyways, uh, as for the subs, thank you, Yulkarps, who said, Ram Wow is chat soap opera. Thank you, Yulkarps. Anonymous gifted a sub to Tomix89. Thank you, Anonymous, for the gift sub. And what up, Tomix, a.k.a. Chorf? Apisterical gifted a sub to Mini Minamitsu, who's here for the first month ever. Hetero Corgi is back for 34 months, who says, with... The cutest chat and streamer. Thanks, Corgi. For sticking around. Mazella says, salute doomed Megabase timeline. And uh, posted this image. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Mazella, for the four months of sub. <laughs> Uh, Chargoth gifted five community subs to Dabs for Dinner, Luft Waffle, Raul Gamer, Lil Reg87, and Face the Face. Four of you here for the first 30 days ever. Thanks for your uh, visitation and enjoy your stay. Ichuku gifted a sub to Orthodox, who's back for month two. Thanks, Ichuku. And Lifeblood says, Randy's got plenty more in store. Reload that bad boy and don't look back. Thanks for your support, by the way, chat. Don't, you don't have to worry about me. I'm not like, you know, I'm not, I'm a little dead inside, but I'm not, it's not any ground I haven't tread before. I've got over a thousand hours in RimWorld. This is a familiar emotion, but it's one that every time I start a new game that I hope I won't encounter again. So, this, this is not a permanent salt, it's just a temporary, this too shall pass type of uh, disappointment. Because they're my babies, these are my children. It's like, it's like being a parent and seeing that your kids uh, grew up and literally didn't do anything with their lives and were killed by mechanoids who came onto the map and brained them with a couple single shots, you know? And I expected better of all of you. Like, th three of you with your god-tier melee skills should have easily been able to handle one centipede. That's all- that's all I'm saying. <laughs> the animals scatter <laughs> after they attack the fire foam popper. <laughs> truly was haunted. It was truly haunted. I love these- it's weird that these guys wake up, but they don't actually attack. Ooh, they landed a hit on the geothermal. That's pretty sick. All right, anyways. GG's, everybody. Well done. Good game. All we see is the dunk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's true. All you see is the dog. <laughs> Chat's just confused. People are coming in like, what's going on? Nice stream thumbnail. Hey, it's a good one, yeah. Well, listen, at least we didn't end in the first two hours, right? Okay, we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to come back refreshed. We're going to come back with a clear head. We're going to come back early, and we're going to get a nice, clean start. Okay? 
get a new map, a new group of survivors. I don't know if I want to try Naked Brutality because it sounds incredibly dangerous in Tundra. Uh, but we'll at least do Crash Landed Losing as fun again until... I feel like I should stick with what I got until I actually beat it. So we'll probably just do Crash Landed again. We don't deserve this epic music. Live by the Randy, die by the Randy. It was a good, it was a good run though. It was a good story. I had fun, especially the relationship hijinks. But don't worry. Unlike in the past, where this is some has sometimes historically been the signal of a Rimworld break, we're just gonna bang our head against the door again tomorrow. So, all you need to do is mentally prepare yourself for the deluge of people who assumed that everything was going to be hunky-dory and come to the stream tomorrow confused. You need to get some meme to, to spam at them when they do. <laughs> Let's just tell them it's the same save. Thank you guys uh, for watching for hanging out for enjoying it alongside me because it would be a lot harder to do by myself i know that you a lot of you had your hearts and your characters for that matter in that run and i didn't expect to go from 16 people to losing either like instantaneously that was one of the faster rugs getting ripped out from under me i think i've experienced sometimes there is a slow domino of failure like in our second attempt and sometimes there is a uh, one underestimation of the enemy leads to the downfall of the entire colony just like that. But it's testament to the challenge of RimWorld and also the fun at overcoming the obstacles to get put before you. So let's learn from it and do better next time. And there's a lot that I would like to do differently. A lot that I would like to change. A lot that I would like to do in different orders. And that's kind of part of the fun. We just have to put our hearts behind a new set of survivors. Thanks to all the people who got to be colonists. I'm happy I got to be a colonist, even if you killed me and my family. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Those of you who were there, I'm glad that everybody who was there at least got to be in for the full stream today. We didn't add anybody, so we didn't have to, I don't have to feel guilty about stealing anybody's channel points. You guys got good value, to be honest. All things considered. But yeah, we got, we got spanked pretty brutal, pretty brutally. We'll do better next time. There's a lot that I want to change, and, um... We'll, we'll get things going. Don't worry. The mega base isn't dead yet. We'll just have to do another mega base. That's all. There's another mega base around the corner at all times. Good night, everybody. I'm going to go eat some pizza. It is pizza time. And we are going to go on an Avic raid. So let's go say hi to Avic. Those of you who are still here. And why don't you copy and paste your can we come up with a nice pasta to spam for support? Except you can't do pump it because pump it may not be enabled there. Okay? Let's go give Avic some love. Check this him out. The sub give him a follow if you haven't already. He's an awesome dude, a good broadcaster, and deserves your attention. Pump it any okay, you can pump it anyways. I don't care. Good night, everybody. I'll see you again, hopefully early tomorrow for another go. Sleep on it, get some rest, recuperate, and come back stronger than before. Good night. I'll see you then.